the simple man with Ethan Krell and Stan, Nicky Rod and Damian Anderson. Oh. Stay a while if you know about the jujitsu. If you don't, you can come to this is BT. Guys, I was watching. Sorry, it's like subject change hard here, but I was watching one of the, one of our first episodes, probably our first episode, and it's An really first episode. it's really funny to see how we speak and interact with each other. Is it substantially different? It is substantially different. Damien will like ask you a question or ask me a question, and we'll go like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then then we'll like. Sit back and be like, <laughs> well, well, what else do we talk about? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yeah. So we've come a long way, and uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're flying. We're like two hour episodes, easy. We have to like Dude, remind that. ourselves to shut the fuck. Those up episodes, and go home, you know, I, people like them. That's how you know we're getting better because it's yeah, getting lengthier. Yeah. Well, well, people like them, but also I feel like it's not difficult for us to talk for two hours. Like, I, especially I could, you, you yeah. could just put you by you yeah. by yourself. <laughs> you got a lot to say, huh? <laughs> Bobby, especially Bobby's man. Oh no silence as with Bobby in the room. Bobby panics when he hears silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His internal monologue starts to fucking be like, "Am I Dude, doing the right Bobby thing?" Dude, Bobby just won. I'm. Oh yeah, this, yeah. he's killing it. Well, I, I kind of, I had a feeling he was gonna win, to be honest. Oh, I say that to Tony and Joe Cox and yeah, man. anyone else in the tournament? That's fucked up. Well, that's fucked up. Well, I think Tony's very good, but Tony just doesn't compete that often. I was like, Tony is Tony's true. First, first combat, one back, right? Bobby's competing twice a week. You guys Every think you get rusty week? when you don't compete? I think so. Nah. I think it's natural. <laughs> nah. I, I compete every day. Here we go. <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> well, throughout training, right, we train year-round, and I pick specific rounds to treat those rounds of competition. And the specific That's rounds are every round. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, but no, sometimes I, I focus on skill development. You know, it can't always be. Yeah. Who, 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 went over knee bars today. Knee bar told that knee bars. Good shit. I think it's good shit. good shit. I think like uh, I think combining you can be really good at that. Yeah, I think yeah, me yeah. to hold knee bar. Well, I Every, think with your with your toe hold or with <laughs> your to hold knee bar. Hooks, I think they'll they'll line up. Yeah, yeah. 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 just Honestly. don't ever do an outside heel hook ever again. That's that's my mentality right now. They don't work. I they mean, work. Oh, nah, you're talking work. to the, you're you're. This what, is what, was I, what was I Hate doing speech. wrong? Why why couldn't I prevent this guy from walking on our yeah, last match? Yeah, there's a few things. So you had a good high grip, but there wasn't any rotation in your lower body. That, so my knees were supposed to be pointing the opposite direction of my upper body twisting. So yes, you want them to rotate against each other. Mm. And it's like, it looked like you had the high grip and you're bridging, which is very still strong, but like you need to point those knees away from you. Like you need mm. to point them like this so while you, like, you rotate. So twist exactly. Yeah. Dude, you would have <laughs> fucking tore him. And you didn't buy his instructional. I know. You, if you buy it, what instructional? What tell everyone. I can't. BJJDamien.com, Outside Ashi Instructional, Outside Ashi the World. Shameless. I can barely t pay attention to class. You think I can watch instructional? What's up, y'all? It's Damien Anderson and, and Nikki Rod from the Simple Man Podcast. We're here to let you know that our merch is live. You, know, you guys want some t shirts, some fancy cups? Support the Simple Man Podcast and get our merch. Link <laughs> Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code SIMPLEMAN, all caps, for 15% off both of those companies. Massive Supplements, trademarked smashing greens, smashing reds, very nutrient-dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t-shirts, rash guards, you name it, owned by... Former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, you simple man, to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements, get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nicky Rod. If you're looking to support the Simple Man Podcast and myself, please check out carnejerky.com, C-A-R-N-E-J-E-R-K-Y. We're uh, debating getting headphones. I know we said this quite a bit, but some some of the things I'm I'm not sure if they're uh, there's pros and cons. But look, some of the clips we post 
I think it's more entertaining when we're all kind of like, like the chip thing. You're like, I farted. And then we all laugh and blah, blah, blah. Like we wouldn't get as lively into it if we like suddenly like everyone's talking, we're like going to be quiet or something. What do you think? I, th- I, I think, think it makes think no? anything. I think I'll laugh. Yeah, but if what? everyone's talking like. Well, the only difference like is that like I won't it? hear you here. I'll hear it straight to my ear. It's the same shit. It's the I same shit. I did. I did a podcast and I heard myself and I like I couldn't talk. Well, you can you can you can ch- put that down, but like well, you I, I lowered also it all there, the way, so I couldn't hear myself anymore. If uh, there's we a need, we don't need the mic, maybe we just get uh, headphones for Jim. Well, it's more. Oh, we'll it's, I think it's more for our like our speaking because here is much different than being right here. Yeah, well, that's what uh, we were talking about. We, so like, my so my uh, uh, business partner told me that we should get a brick wall limiter, and that's supposed to help out What's with that? everything. So that like there's if, no brick walls in here. If we yell, <laughs> it, it doesn't allow Stupid. it to go over, and then if you if you're whispering, it'll bring it up to like similar uh. level. See. Whatever. So like like oh, Joe Rogan, a... like Rogan's podcast has like a brick wall limit or whatever. So it's like there's no big fluctuations mm. in in the audio. I so see. that's like Sounds something expensive. That, that we'll do. No, no, no. Apparently it's it's just with whatever software that that we use. Mm. Yeah. So you download it. I don't you know get, how to do you it. Guys, Jim, uh, yes. Jim. Jim. You guys trained with Jim when he came in. I trained with Jim. I was the first person to train with him. Yeah. I yeah. trained. I trained. You tried to kick my ass. Oh, we didn't. No, we Jim's got. He got heart. Got heart, bro. He, got heart got, he was getting gas, but he was going. Yeah. He was he was working. Our man behind the cameras. <laughs> he tried. He tried to to like do a cartwheel, like pass my guard. He like jumped. I was like, oh shit, here Sheesh. we go. <laughs> Sick. What do you say? Oh yeah. He tried a baseball show. Oh, he, he tried it on me too. Dude, he tried it on me. So I, like he That's was real. trying it. I shot up. It, it, it was choking me for a little bit. He got it. I shot like a. I came up on a double. He was still going. I stepped over into mount, and he was still going for it. I'm in mount. I'm like, <laughs> and then he lets go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. It, no, no, it's Nogi. Real. It's real. Damn. No, no, uh, Nogi. You know who also fucking does it? Liam Zay. They got oh, that motherfucker, just... Liam Zay. I saw him sub uh, a few guys at B team with it. I was oh, like, oh no. my god, yeah, Liam! Yeah. This, this is a little kid from Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Okay, okay. He's probably yeah. getting bigger now. I haven't oh. seen him in, in a few months, but when uh, he was maybe a bit taller than me, actually. Did maybe he get hurt. hurt in wrestling or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we talked about it in one of the podcasts. He. Oh. Uh, he dislocated his kneecap, so he was oh, all fucked up. Fuck. He went to get an X-ray, and they did a like a side-by-side comparison to his other kneecap, and it it's turned out fractured. that his other kneecap was also fractured. Oh, and wow. they were like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "Hey, I thought I had bursitis." <laughs> he was like wearing a knee pad. What a he was savage! Like, wow. He was like, "It hurts every time I shoot." Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "It hurts bursitis." So much pain. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I think it's bursitis. <laughs> it's bursitis. It's bursitis. <laughs> it's bursitis. My dad said it's bursitis. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like one of the situations. He comes into school with a black eye. Like, I felt on the stairs. Bursitis. 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 Like, how'd you get this fractured kneecap? Like, I have no bursitis. idea. My dad didn't bursitis. hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I thought I had bursitis. His dad's like around the corner. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not fucking snitch. Yeah. You, you guys both went through like wrestling seasons, right? Yeah. So when it comes on, you suddenly you're just in like, you, you're constantly cutting. You're constantly in, I'm getting ready for this event, that event. Yeah. This duel, that duel, I don't know. What? I kind of like having multiple uh, comps like stacked, just because when I'm when I'm done getting ready for one, I'm you're already I'm ready. ready for multiple. Like, I don't have to like do peaking. anything else. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, already and, like up in your best. And shape. That's a natty yeah. king. I I can just carry that peak that's on. It. You know, I th- I dislike that. I'd rather compete like one match here, a few months later. <laughs> one match a year. No, one match, one match here. Year. Oh, one match yeah. here, and then months later compete again mm. so you'd rather I, I, like no off season just like a constant somewhat busy schedule yeah, throughout yeah. the year consistent I, I think i agree with jay like i think it's like you once you get it out of the way then you can relax then you get back into the exactly. fucking but then so like then you're gonna what you're gonna peak get like do your assault bike do your conditioning do your training everything and you compete and then you keep ramping it up that hard the entire way through to the no, next one no you take a little time off and then you go back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that I mean, if you get training, injured, it gives you time to like recuperate. That or whatever, my know. training as well. Training is like fucking, like we train really hard already. So it's like we're not when we're not in camp, we're still like we're still training pretty hard. We're still yeah. training hard. Not yeah. me. Well, um, we are. I don't know about this. Yeah. You don't train hard. Not yeah, me. I guess you don't. Yeah. Not me. I Wait, like really? You don't. 
You chill? Uh, it depends. If if there's like a comp around the corner, then like I'm really looking to fucking or somebody pisses me off. But for the most part, like I'll let the fucking guys like pass my guard. I'll reguard. I I'll kind of up. always just go. Hard, yeah, like yeah, one speed. Yeah. I'm not really like. Going Are you saying crazy. you just let people pass your guard because you're just you need an excuse for getting your guard passed? No, no, I just let them pass my guard. I gotta work on, I gotta work on my fucking guard retention skill. It's called skill development. But if you're working on guard retention and you let somebody pass your guard, then you have you've unaccomplished the retaining part of the guard. No, I. I well, you're re-guarding. re-guarding. You're working on re-guarding. You're working on re-guarding. re-guarding. Yeah. Damn. So or just learn how to buggy. I I don't think I can. I don't think my body will let me. It, and though, as they pull, like out, maybe they won't know that I can't do it. Yeah, but look. <laughs> I'll go really hard. You should like, whisper. Is, oh, oh. There. <laughs> you should tell him like I'm gonna buggy you and see how he reacts. <laughs> they ah! they <laughs> run. Right here. What? You're right there. You can whisper in their ear. Hey, little mama, yeah. let me whisper. <laughs> you know who tried uh, to buggy me? Wojcik. Wojcik tried to. Uh, he's flexible. Well, I feel like yeah, Chris, Chris. Wojcik. Uh, oh I, yeah, I, yeah, he tried I, to bug me. I too. passed with a, I think a body lock or whatever, and I went right into a buggy. I was like, "Oh shit!" It, it panic pull yeah, out. Yeah. Luckily, panic I was, pull out. Lucky I was able to slip. Look, I don't know if it's the right way to train, but I feel like if I go into the gym, I'm gonna have rounds where I go like I near red line for sure. At the bare minimum, well, I'm gonna. I, I still have those like, rounds for sure. For sure. All right. We should That's have Heisem on. Yeah, we should. That'd be a sick one. We can have to get, get a small, a smaller ch- change of background. <laughs> I didn't say it. You said it. You I said it at first. Oh, uh, no. You can't prove that in the court of law. We're all white today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That was funny. That's funny. Yeah. He, uh, what an addition of the team. Holy shit. Yeah, I some, yeah, I some yeah. here. Did we talk about that on the podcast? No. Heisem is part of the team. Newest addition to B team. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to have him. Good a, from, great uh, athlete. Good yeah. good learner. Seems like he's yeah. picking it up. He's yeah. dedicated. You know? Super explosive. <laughs> good good training partner for yeah, you yeah, and Vince. Good, good big guy for and you. And a nice right? guy as well. Super yeah, nice super guy. Nice guy yeah, super nice guy, man. Yeah. yeah, such a dope dude. Yes. He's uh actually no, I don't I don't know when he's competing next. I don't know. He <laughs> might be in no this. Idea. There's like a UFC event June 29th or July 20th. I don't know. There's like an absolute uh thing same same as the last one something like that it's an absolute you said Thanks. oh andy varela is he coming andy uh, varela is coming to train with us oh uh i messaged him but he, he never responded left um, you on red he left you on scene yeah uh Fuck i think it. it just delivered i don't know um but i he definitely had, just delivered yeah, he yeah had, it's just delivered. he had asked um what time we train on monday so can I use we'll see oh no it'll is be good yeah. yes is that clean yeah that's clean sure Simple man mugs by hey, the uh huh. Some people haven't gotten their order for their shirts. Uh oh. Specifically, oh, they, they, Mariella. They did order. Mariella ordered, and right. she was like randomly. She's like, I didn't get my shirt, but we also didn't check the mailbox. But right. I don't know if you guys ordered shirts and didn't get them. Just let let us know. Yeah, probably shoot us a DM on the Instagram right. Instagram. Just say it back to the video now that you're watching, and we'll hear it. We'll. Yeah. yeah. Say, say it to your screen. Okay. Okay. I got it. Yeah. All right. I'll take Is there a look. something on that camera? Am I crazy? Do you see this? Oh, no. That's not, not crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. What crazy. Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> your reflection? Is it you? No, it's honestly so stupid what I thought it was. Wow. <clears throat> All right. There's a reflection. Liam's uh, coming back to life. And uh, yeah, he's uh, his knee is functioning again slowly. And when he comes here, he'll uh, give his his rendition of the poop story. Oh, great! When's That'll he coming? We don't know. We don't know yet. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, yes. The original, one of the original stories. Um, no, nah, he'll maybe in like a few months. He's still pretty early into the rehab process. But what's yeah. going on in the world right now? Is there any news? Wiz Khalifa is doing jujitsu. Dude. Wiz Khalifa's been doing Muay Thai. Yeah, but I think he's like he's, he's doing the high, high rollers. I saw something. He's doing the high rollers. I think I think he's gonna have a match on high rollers in the gi. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. fuck, yeah, I wish was the no gi. Man. I know. Here, I guess um, he likes Holly him. Spank. Uh, interesting name. Holly. Is that a real name? Sounds like she might have an OnlyFans. The Spank. Sounds like it. Holly Spank. She has a question for the podcast. Um, I don't oh, even know. We I might have asked this asked these before, but um. If you could create a new rule for jujitsu competitions, what would it be? Okay, I have one. The first one that comes to mind is like the 
uh, like a step back rule. Like you're not allowed a certain number oh, of yes. steps back. Uh, so if you're like up on points and you take like mm -hmm. one step, two step, three steps back, that's like you're hit with something and then you have to, I don't know, something like that to avoid stalling. And same for a guard passer versus guard player. If the guard uh, passer takes like too many steps back, something, yep, some kind of thing I like that. I completely agree. I with think this. that would be a good. I think, that's I think negatives should be a way more common. They're in in college wrestling. They're common. like they hit him with negatives Dude. right away. I can enforce the guy to get a negative just yes. by pushing him yes. forward. That's like yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that I think that's uh, that's actually really it's big. I think it's a big. I'm a genius. Idea. I'm a genius. I like that. Yeah. I think that's um, a huge huge part for combat jiu jitsu. This is gonna go against mm. uh, a lot of people's opinions. I think for combat jiu jitsu. It should be closed fist. <laughs> I'm serious. When you're on the ground? Wow. Uh, I'm on the ground. Yeah. So people say like, well, then why not just make it famous. MMA? Because it's like if you do it MMA, you still have to learn striking like on the feet. Uh, with combat jiu-jitsu, you do it on the ground, but you have closed fist. The only reason is a palm strike as well as a fist can do the same amount of damage. But now when you I think th you'll, you'll cut a guy up with your fist. You, no? can, cut a, you can cut a guy up with your fist, um, but you can also I cut a guy with my palm. Like yeah. so, it's like it it's can so much. Happen. It's so much worse for your wrist. I think that's it the thing. Hurts. My wrist, my yeah. wrist. But I feel like you'll also just break your hand if you go that with that amount of force, dude. I'm I gonna... my wrists are still hurt from combat jujitsu in January. I'm not lying. Damn. You are like, fragile, man. Dude, well, I'm. You sure, I was, you want to fight him? I was him beating the shit out of these fuckers. He was headbutting your hand. You weren't doing I anything. Didn't do shit, <laughs> he I did know. like no slaps. I was, dude, the first guy I was trying to rip his arms off, I couldn't fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, let's not talk about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, I was beating the fuck out of these guys and wrist locking them, myself every time I hit him. Every time I hit him, I'm fucking wrist locking myself by accident. Imagine he's Ow. trying to like catch. Him. Ow. 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 Yeah, he was just he was so, just catching yeah. and trying to wrist lock me. Actually, yeah. he was timing it. He was timing the. Uh, the yeah. Did you hit him with your feet. No. <laughs> you mean you mean kick? <laughs> Can he punch with the soles of your feet? Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you can apply pressure with some heels, that'd be that'd be sick. If he like pulls guard and you stomp a face, yeah, that would be insane. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> but that's Look. not combat. That's not jujitsu anymore. That's like well, fuck, man. Well, if somebody pulls guard, then you can start striking. Well, and I, think, I think I think soccer kicks. I think like punches things, yeah. with with four ounce gloves. I think that's fine. So an oh, MMA fight. No, no you gloves. gloves. You're you on the ground. You, all right. You don't add gloves. It's going to be very, very right. bad. Yeah. Everybody's going to bleed. Every, but then it's just bleeding. like it's too close to MMA then. It's too – you you're wearing gloves and you're only allowed to wrestle standing. But as soon as we're down, we're hitting. It's yeah, like, yeah. Because then you don't have to learn the whole martial fight. art of, of striking. You just get, you I know, guess, also, yeah. It ends up just two guys. With, grappling with gloves is very different, though. I think you're yeah, going to yeah. see a lot of just standing. They're not going to be able to take each other down and shit. They're going to be well. The there's get still down like, there's rule. a get down rule for a minute. They're imagine you, you imagine up, like imagine you roll pass right. There's close hand, close fist strikes. So match starts and both guys just pull to both to two knees and they're they're boxing from the knees. That's <laughs> that would technically be legal. That would. Yeah. And right. we, you can but, still but, do it with slaps. Yeah, the, pers right? the person that you can do that now, but the person but then, just the first guy double. to decide to get up also is <laughs> well, going to shoot a double. Like it. Yeah. Well, no. If, if, if uh, okay, we're both on our knees. If I just stand up, I could still hit you, and yes. you're just on your knees. Yes. You know? So you got to get that heisting game. <laughs> but both of them are just going to stand up. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. Um, what's the okay. most unusual place you've ever rolled or trained jujitsu? Oh. Uh, well, we did next to Spicy Boys. We yeah, like Spicy Boys. That was cool. Oh wow, yeah, I was I was there door. for that. Uh, that was very packed. I was like, I'm not going. That was sick. That was such a fun day. Yeah, that was you cool. missed out. That was yeah, awesome. That was, cool. that, was that too, but... when you took that Spicy Wing or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I convinced Steven to get a, a tattoo. tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> spicy Boys tattoo. Yeah. Yep. He gets like discounted chicken. Yeah, no, but he they, doesn't. They, they took it away. I know. So this guy, this guy, Steven Panella, he or Panilla in Spanish, right? He. He got Spicy Boy's logo tattooed on his body, right on his leg, and for life. He, like, he's supposed to be. He's supposed to get a discount off of Spicy Boy's for life. About like a couple months after the tattoo, they're just like, "Yeah, we're not gonna honor it anymore." And he has the fucking tattoo. I Man, need a contract or something. Right? I mean, for no, one, bro. how many people have tattoos that they're like, "All right, we have to stop giving." Like, Apparently, a lot of people got the tattoo. Yeah. That's what. So there's a few things, and again, I. I do think they should honor it, but yeah. in their defense, he was trying to go there and he would buy like 
10 sandwiches uh, for a bunch of other people. <laughs> so oh, my God. He was trying to just, like, spread yeah, the discount. Was it free he was, sandwich? He was buying it and no, then it selling it like at full price. it was a huge discount. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he opens up a new truck. <laughs> He's out front with a yeah. bag full of, full of <laughs> sandwiches. Spicy people. <laughs> yeah, spicy people. <laughs> it's a spicy oh girls God. right next door. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, so then they like they go back. They're like, you can't do this. So we're gonna limit you to like a couple a day or something. And then he would go every day. So they're like, oh look, God. we gotta stop. This. And uh, okay, that's warranted. Then I didn't know. That. I thought they like just that. screwed him. So I still think they should honor it. Like no, but, not you know, they like, should have some fine print. Get a tattoo. Tattoo. Bro, the thing is, are right, you know Friday the, the thirteenth? Apparently, well. Friday the thirteenth is a huge day to get tattooed at All Saints. Actually, this is across right. all tattoo shops. Why? There, I don't know why, but you get like flash sheets, and there are lines that you, that people wait in for like three to four hours. Like they camp out there, they have fucking coolers. What's purpose they sit to get their fucking tattoo. But I'm why gonna, is it a specific it's, it's super, tattoo? Uh, no, so like <laughs> each super. each artist just has like these. They have uh, a flash sheet or whatever, and then like you go in, and it's like a ten dollar or twenty dollar tattoo. Oh, so or whatever. It's, like discounted. it's discounted, but people ah, are waiting for fucking four hours, gotcha. whatever, for it, and it's like. There's a lot of people that just will get stupid tattoos. So it's like, okay. it's not... I, I can see well, how a lot Friday of people get that. Is coming up or something? Is that why you're... Or is that just something? No, it's just something that I know. Oh. I mean, I think it was a, a month or two ago before. Uh, you like horror movies? I love horror movies, actually. Hereditary. The thing is, the new horror movies, they don't... They're not that scary anymore, I feel like. Or maybe I'm just they're, fucking they're, just older. There's, some, just there's older. some that are good. There's some directors that are really good. They always... I, I prefer the movies now. So before, I used to like movies that were like about demons because I thought that shit would scare the crap. Like as a kid, because it's like you can't fucking kill a demon. Like yeah. there's, it's really scary. But now as I get older, <laughs> I like, like speak for yourself. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're dead. They're losing. <laughs> they're, they're already dead. They're, uh, but um, I feel like now the only thing that really scares me are like the pop outs. Oh, like that's when I'll get genuine. I'm like, that's holy scary. shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's not that. But I'm... it's only it's good movies get you in that frame of mind where you're ready to be scared yeah. by a pop up. Like you can't just, you know, random scene and pop up. You're just like, oh, what the fuck was that? But if they like get you suspense, like edge of your yeah. seat, and then boom, they hit yeah, you. That's yeah. that's good. That's like good. what's a good what's a good scary movie that that you guys have hereditary. Watched Really good one. You yeah, I haven't seen that in, in a while. I've seen the clips. That, it looks really good. Really good. I haven't good. seen that in a while. It, get, it was get good out. though. Get out. Get out. I didn't think that oh. was that Get scary, out. though. Fuck you ever, you. You ever watch... I think it was... Hey. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen uh, One racist, Wrong Turn? You bitch. <laughs> oh, because... Ah, <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, wrong wrong uh, Have you ever seen One Wrong... What was it last time? As, uh, wrong, wrong Turn. Wrong Turn, yeah. Wrong one Turn. Wrong Turn? No, it, I, there's like one through three wrong turns. So the, no, no. There's, <laughs> well, if they took three, there's not one wrong turn. There was actually there's, there's one. Multiple multiple movies. If they yeah. take three of the same wrong turns, they would have ended up <laughs> <circle>. in the <laughs> same. That's a right. That's not. If that's a three, triangle technically. It, no, but right, maybe we're right, talking about right, roads. That's going to be back the right way technically. Anyway, sorry. So the I think the premise is like uh, one of them is that's like one right turn. Then that's three exactly, wrong, three, three wrong, wrong turns is a right. Make a right. Make a right turn. Yeah. So Continue. the premise of yeah. So the premise, <laughs> the premise is pretty much, um, it's like a group of prisoners get are like getting transported. Their bus breaks down. They get out the bus and they're like they try to escape. Where do we go? Exactly. They took a wrong turn. Exactly. They're they're trying to escape and they're walking through the woods and there's these like these hillbillies that are that end up hunting and eating these people. But Whoa, the hillbillies okay. are like that's terrifying. wait hills have eyes. No, it's similar. That's different. a good. Similar, that's similar. also similar. scary. But the hillbillies are like, they're like inbred, so they're they're oh, fucked up looking yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, and they like Arr, they got a little snare, a little snarl to them, you know. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, interesting movie. That's Dude, that's a good. I would watch that. The Hills Have good. Eyes. I haven't seen that in a while, but Spooky. that shit was fucking yeah. nuts yeah. when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Radiation fucked them up. Something oh, was it the radiation? Up. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was like inbred also. Probably. I think I think there were inbreds no, like hate with You ever see the real inbreds? <laughs> the the real the family the inbreds? People? Yeah. The blue people? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're blue. People. blue. Are they um, actually? They're from Alabama? they're from near where I went to college in Virginia. Disgusting. They're like all what fucked do I search up. up. There's there, there's like shit in the corner of their house. But like, and, oh, oh man, does the one it's a bark? vice thing on YouTube. What? Is there one that just barks? I forget. Yeah. Maybe. Bro, there's bro, what, there's one like, that just barks. Yeah, no, just, I, I'm getting Avatar. Go on not YouTube. Not people. People. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Go on YouTube. Inbred. Go on YouTube. Type in vice inbred people. V I C E inbred people. The Whitakers, yes. Oh, the Whitakers. Is it? The He's like they're called the Jim Whitakers. I mean, they're just Whitakers. They're just just Whitakers. Yeah. 
<laughs> the f- the Fugates of Kentucky. <laughs> the Fugazi. I'm serious. <laughs> No, Whitakers. Do, do you have YouTube? No, it's the Whitakers. Yeah. You know, there's a. In, no, no, there is. It's real life avatar blue people existed thanks to years of inbreeding. <laughs> thanks to. Bro, look at these fuckers. Success. Bro, look at this motherfucker. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's more than just blue. That's a lot. There's a lot going oh, his on. Well, yeah, is, they're just. They're like his brain is blue. Looking. But, um. Yeah. And they just have sex with each other and keep fucking. You know, this is black and white. <laughs> so in jersey wait 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 wait. did you know that what did you think you think i thought it was in color yeah i'm not that colorblind uh, you idiot I, I should, what, yeah, how do we know def- huh? define that colorblind what by is the that? way that was in color <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotcha. so basically i see colors but like red and green or shades of red and green can be flipped like this looks green to you me you could do a flip like, wow. I can flip it in my mind. But you know, uh, what color is this? It's oh, see, that I think is red, but that could, for some reason, also be like, uh, it looks red or purple, maybe, wait, wait, or wait, 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 or wait. brown. Oh, that. What is that? It could be red, brown, or purple. It's, this is red. It's like a maroon, bread, like red and brown. Bread. Yeah, bread. It's bread. It's in. Yeah, bread. yeah. I don't know how to. What's explain? another question? Um, fuck you. That's the statement. That's a question. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck you. Me? So you, you, you stop playing video games? Yeah, it's too addicting, man. It's too addicting. I go through like little phases, but man, I just don't have enough time in the day. It's like I have shit to do for for the gym, and then occasionally some stuff to do for the podcast. But mainly like the gym, then Instagram and stuff, and then I have to train Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, and then it's like a lot going on. It's it's too much. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's too unproductive. I feel like. You ever play an instrument? No. Go. No, yeah. no, no, oh. no, no. Actually, listen. That's yeah. good. You okay. play the tuba. Correct. I Bruh. played the tuba in middle school. You have rhythm? <laughs> Bro, I rhythm swag. All Bro, that shit. get get a tuba. Start pick it. Come on. It's Pick-a-tuba. very loud. So? You have a house. There's only a couple of notes. Well, I mean, it's heavy, too. It's a workout. I, mean, I might as well oh, pick heavy. Oh, for you. no. It's, it's heavy. heavy for you? You fucking bitch. You fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you are mortal. <laughs> we see your human side. Oh, here, here. Um, if you could, if, like, it's not heavy. if you could go, other questions? <laughs> he's gonna walk away from from this body. And be like, I shouldn't have said it was heavy. Stupid, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Not heavy. Go, she's bicep curling. <laughs> it's not fucking heavy at all. How now, much I'm do gonna tubas take weigh? Two, 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 two tubas. <laughs> two tubas. That would make it a four bar. A four bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, that was retarded. All right. Uh, <laughs> shit, I lost. It. Oh, here. Okay. If you can go <laughs> back in time, if you can go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? <laughs> give up. <laughs> Probably start up. counting. Start jujitsu earlier? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Start wrestling. I, for me. Do rest. Just start wrestling. You're going to need it. Yeah. I probably that's, wouldn't that's what, listen to what, myself. I'd be like, fucking fuck no. you, bitch. I think I would stu- study more marketing, like strategies to build. Oh e- wow, build, strategies to build like an e-commerce business and things like that. Because I think I see value in that. Yep. Another one, another good one would be start <laughs> making YouTube videos. Just start like, no matter how shitty Dude, it is, you know, like fucking vlog imagine, your day. It would have been like, great. Imagine if you let him finish his sentence. Sorry. And yeah. What's so are you me? <laughs> huh? I'm that's you, how it feels. Me. Am I? Who am I? Go on, sorry. No, that's it. Really. Okay, but imagine Henzo Gracie Thank times. <laughs> Henzo Gracie times. If we just recorded that shit, I know it was prime time. We would travel prime fucking time. an hour and a half to go train. Then there'll be like GSP, Chris Weidman, Jake Shields, all these fu- Aljo, like all these. It was it was crazy. If it was just edited properly, it could be made to be a very interesting life but it actually was quite mundane it <laughs> was w- it yeah we just no. go and dude yeah it's not it's not like a rock star lifestyle but like it can be edited to it be was really cool and that's what people want it was want really like cool real- what are you talking See, my about? my thoughts it was actually a rock star it lifestyle. was oh. fucking sick like what are you- <laughs> you're trying like think about it <laughs> honestly yeah. rock stars <laughs> travel do rock star shit we were traveling competing okay. teaching jiu-jitsu coming back living Thank with you. the same team then we go train with other other people that are trying to beat us and whatnot it was what intense. dude it, it was the mecca we had so many pro pro like mma fighters coming to oh train it was us. cool i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it was cool <laughs> my life was cool Okay. Sheesh, My I really don't cool. want it, bro. We would go to fucking Jersey and train. We'd go there. to fucking 
a, a get food after, and then we'd <laughs> uh, go get coffee, and then we go that's, back to that's training. Team, that's that's cool too. stuff. That's, that's life. That's cool. Exactly. It's How many people can actually do that? It would be cooler cool. if we were like millionaires, yeah. gajillionaires. But honestly, you know, you, you no, look, it is cool. It is cool. You look at TV shows like no, uh, Take It Back it, Now. It's not cool. It's fucking lame. You look at no, it's like reality shows on like MTV and stuff. It's just those people doing normal shit. That's yeah. what we do. We do, you know, we're we do normal shit, but it's like more entertaining. It's also it's out not of the norm. that normal. This is not the lifestyle we live is not normal. No, it's not normal. What I'm saying is, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, it's a routine. It's the same thing every day, and it's like, if you look at it on a, on a the grand scheme, like big picture, you zoom out. It's like train, eat, train, sleep, train, blah blah blah, and commute, commute, commute. But, like, there are little sparks of things that happen, and if you edit it together, you chop it up over the day, over the week, you can make really cool vlogs. You make really cool content. So my advice to myself would be, even though, in in my opinion, it was, like, it was cool, but it wasn't, like, I'm flying on helicopters and yachts and, like, a rock star is way cooler. Come like, on. There's more, they got more money. They got more money. They They're got dr- more people. They got more eyes, more this, more that. It's crazy. They're on yachts. But even like, every even, day is different no, but for even, a rock star. Even they're fucking doing crazy shit. But the thing is, even rock stars will say that their fucking lifestyle is not that crazy because they're traveling on a bus fucking they're driving fucking 10 hours. They're wrong. That is they're doing drugs fucking like. <sighs> no, they're doing the drugs that make them go the opposite. Like, That's what? at night, maybe. Maybe. I don't anyway, know. I would tell myself to vlog what I'm doing and get better at wrestling and learn about e-commerce. And I, knowing myself, I'd probably ignore all those things and just fucking do whatever I was doing. So it's useless anyway. What's your advice to yourself? Uh, man. Leave it ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you may be, should, the, you should listen to your future self right now. Man, what do you right think now? your future self Two would tell in. you? Yeah, yeah. Listen, shh. <laughs> Do you Jay, you're, like, a you. <laughs> Jay, you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Quit now, you bitch. No, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, don't mountain bike. <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't I would tell the bike. same thing to myself. Uh, man, maybe I should have gotten a uh, a dirt bike instead or something. That sounds. It like seems a like a idea. bad idea. Mm. That sounds like a good idea. We're we're that sarcastic. Yes. Okay. Good. We're, we know what we're doing on dirt bikes. Are you more confident on a dirt bike than a regular bicycle? I've, I have significantly more time on dirt bikes. Wow. But if you crash on a dirt bike, I mean, you're. But okay, how big but are the jumps that you're doing with? with oh, I, w- I wasn't really doing jumps like that. Okay, you're just ripping it, like yeah, ripping, ripping through it, the yeah. fucking yeah, like enduro like, style. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Um, just be you can be on the ground and have still have a, a lot, lot of fun. fun. Um, so you I wouldn't like do jumps on dirt bike? Yeah. No. Nah. Probably not. Okay, so yeah, for sure. Because on a bike, you're like, "Fuck, it's not dangerous." I could do jumps, and yeah, like, lo and behold, it's still dangerous. Like I have yeah. like scars all over my hands from fucking hitting trees, but no and major shit, injuries, but nothing like, crazy. No, yeah. no. Advice? I think, I think the dirt bike is safer yeah. for us, Excuse also me, because because we have more experience, right? Yeah. Um, in addition, like you said, you can go. Faster, have more fun on the ground without leaving the ground. It's you like, you like, need less like it, dangerous risk to enjoy it. The yeah, risk I mean, is probably when you're in the air, right? That's when like the real danger. There's is. definitely yeah. The more the most risk is in the air, um, but bro, when you're flying, it is you are a bird. <laughs> you <laughs> you are a bird. You are a bird. He's a foot in the air. He's like. <laughs> He's in the air. He's like, I'm a majestic butterfly. <laughs> Dude, it's like fucking it's straight six adrenaline. inches off the ground. <laughs> Dude, you I, see that shit? You see that soaring air? through the heavens? There was, there was a track uh, like 30, 40 minutes away from our house back in Jersey. And this was like a professional a professional a track. A professional track. And uh, some of the guys would like, how high were they going? No lie, guys. Are, so guys high. are going like 30, 30 foot in the air, whipping it, coming back down. Yeah, and it these guys were like flying, flying in insane. The air. Do you guys ever uh, uh, snowboard? Yeah. I went once. Yeah, dude, I used, I used to snowboard like pretty much every day, and then um, yeah, there was like that. uh, what do you say? I grew up doing that as well. Yeah, yeah, Both and like we would hit snowboard. fucking jumps, and like there's uh, like 20, 20 footer, like thirty footer, and then uh, every now and then they'd make like a forty foot like a uh, uh, jump or a half pipe jump. ever. Uh, there was a half pipe uh, too, or a quarter pipe at one of them. Terrible. I never, d- I never did a, a half pipe, but like there was a quarter. I would just pipe. go down the middle. <laughs> I would just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sore, but dude, I I did uh, the forty footer once, and um, I kind of pussied out like 
before, like, because you got to get some speed, right? Right. Um, so, uh, what? Not. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so you got to get some speed, and I kind of, I kind of pussied out like right yeah, at the bottom. I always, of it. So I, I got, always, I got yeah. a little bit scared, so I slowed it down a little bit, and then I hit the jump, and then I'm in the air. So it's like there's like the jump, and then it, it, it goes down here, but it's flat for 40 feet. So you try to clear it, and I you fucking, have to get on I, the <laughs> spot. Yeah. I get in the air, and then I, uh, I didn't get enough fucking momentum because I pussied out. I hit the fucking, I hit the, uh, uh, the flat part. I like. My knees like basically hit me, hit me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> you elevator, <laughs> dude. It's, it's fucking nuts. It sucks. But, uh, I'd yeah, always yeah. do that on every jump, ski, snowboard. Like I'd be like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, no, no too fast, too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go like <laughs> right over dude, the top. You're dude, like, I ah, fuck shit. Well, like I would, I was in the air. I slammed down. My knees fucking come up, and then I like spring forward essentially. Just when I was up. when I was learning how to jump like a motocross bike on a motocross track. Um, there is a, a sense of like full commitment that you have to have when yeah. you're doing it. Cause like, you gotta send so, it. So exactly. So I, I do a few run up tries before my first like time actually jumping a dirt bike and I'll like just coast off the lip land. And uh, let me start off with this actually. So I could, I would jump, um, tabletops, which is, you know, tabletop, you have the top where you can land. It's not a gap. Oh, it's like a little thing. Like exactly. That. That's okay, a tabletop. Yeah. There's not so, like a dip in the middle. If you hit that, you're fucked. Exactly. So, like so I would do those constantly. Uh, but then when I stepped up and I was like, all right, I'm going to start hitting a double, which is a gap. Just a, a Yeah. yeah. A gap, They're right? like two ramps like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One, one where you take off, one where you land. Yeah. So I remember like the first time I actually hit a double and uh, jump with a gap, I was... I was coasting on the bike. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm body's in position. I'm keeping regular speed. And, you know, there's a point where you, where you either back out or you're, like, fully Yeah, you're like, the last chance to bail. Exactly. And in my mind, and the words I said, I was like, fuck it. I'm yeah. going to, you know, and just, it just sent it. And that was only that was only It was phrase. like two little <laughs> yeah. bricks of dirt. You're like, fuck it, send it. You're like. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Straight heroin when you're jumping. I'm sure it's fucking. Yeah. Bliss, dude. The, the, I'll never. I don't think I'll ever do that. I think it's too late. I don't know me. about with, uh, about dirt biking, but when you're snowboarding, I still, I love it. I'll kill myself. <laughs> I do that shit, bro. It's too late. Um, Can't. I don't know about uh, dirt biking, but when you're snowboarding and like you send it and you're able to go down, it's like the most graceful. Uh, when you hit the when you when you hit the yeah. like uh, like that slope down, it's like just so graceful. It goes from like an like an effort filled ride, and then once you hit a certain point of technique, you're just flow. It's so flowy. You're hitting, you're landing, you're just coasting. Yeah, that sounds sick. majestic. It is very majestic, dude. I would. I just make me want to do it. One of my favorite things to, to do as well. <laughs> yeah, nothing like a full body cast. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Motocross is way more dangerous than fucking. <laughs> One of my favorite things as well is jumping things like uh, jet skis because if you fuck up, you just oh, fall yeah. in the water. Oh, I never That's jumped fun. jet yeah, skis. You just, you yeah. bail, jump jet skis like, like yeah. ramps and shit. Well, or you no, wait like, off the wake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You, you hit a, especially in in uh, North Jersey, we have the Atlantic Ocean right there. Is it's a lot of a lot <laughs> the of Atlantic wa- Ocean right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm just saying, it's close, it's close by, right? <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it is right there. So there's a spot in South Jersey. Bring it right there. That's it. <laughs> Say something wrong? No, go on. No, no, no. Anyway, uh, yeah, would hit. We go to like the sandbars where the where the waves are, and just get after it. And and that's like a safer way to get up in the air. Mm-hmm. But if you're on land, it's quite risky. Yeah, yeah. That's probably actually the most. It has to be like the safest. To, yeah, to jump hard, jet skis. It's hard when you get high enough. Uh, yeah. yeah if you, I feel like if you land on a wave like flat like that, you'll probably you get fucked. Yeah, but you would you rather it. land on a fucking No, I'd rather that. I'd or, rather that or, than Earth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> than the Earth's done, crust. Uh, belly flop into a pool. That yeah, sucks. I've done one. Yeah. You guys ever go what, like cliff jumping? Cliff jumping, yes. Yeah, yeah but not like real cliffs. Like, Dude. Like a little. Like hill jumping. Yeah, like off a pool, you know? You didn't go cliff jumping in Puerto Rico? Bro, I did like a 50 footer in Puerto Rico and it was what? terrifying, bro. Yep. I did. I, oh my god. It's horrible. So it's so like, <laughs> I don't like that feeling. So so <laughs> falling to your crazy. death and then hitting Dude, water. So, so, like so we we uh Ugh. we get to this fucking cliff jump and it's actually supposed to be like, you know, uh it's around like 15 to 20 feet is the cliff. So that's fucking high still. So that's like un- so we have to yeah, climb yeah. behind this thing and then what's kind of scary first is that uh the rocks are all wet because other guys are jumping off of it. Yeah, and you have to jump further. Like, you have to jump out because you can see there's big rocks right straight down. So you have to jump over the rocks. And If you bail last minute there, you just kind of break and the thing your is, leg and shit. And the thing is also, um, uh, it's uh, 
the water's not clear. It, it's, it's like murky. it's like out there's algae and it. it's like fresh water. So you don't know if there's a rock. So you don't really right know. There. But like you know, yeah. everyone jumps in the middle and like this is a safe place. Safe You're like, spot. all right, fuck it. So you jump, 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 whatever. Jump for like maybe an hour or so, and then um. I look up, or no, everybody starts like fucking screaming. They're like, oh shit, whatever, pointing, pointing. And I look up, and then there's this there's Puerto Rican dude just uh, just standing like this, right? At this fucking 50 foot jump. And I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? He's like, about to do the most majestic, graceful. Bro, he jumps <laughs> and flop. swan dives. And we're all like, ah! <laughs> he jumps, he fucking dives, he comes up, like maybe fucking what a beast. Ten seconds later, because he goes so deep, and then fucking has to swim up, and um, he's probably we're done like, that holy so many shit. Times, like. So yeah, it, it was it was so nuts. And then we're about to leave, and actually, Giannis was there. Oh, okay. It was me and Giannis, and then. I was like, I, I really feel like I, I want to do that. Like, I don't want to. You can't. Just, you don't know I, how to do it. <laughs> I, want, I was like, I want to. It looks really I wanna cool. I want to fucking though. do that. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't. How can I do it? He's like, he's like, bro. Like, I, like I'll fucking do it if you do it. And I was like, I was like, I don't bro, know. Bro, you don't. That takes so much practice. Bro, it was crazy. The swan dive. So perfectly like I didn't that. swan like, dive, but so I was like, like I, I asked yeah. the guy. I was like, hey man, can you? Because you have to climb behind this fucking mountain thing, this big ass rock. And I was like, can you show me how to get up there? So Teach then, me the way. So then he start. We start going around this fucking thing. Then there's we have to climb a little bit, like climb, like mountain climb essentially. Wow. And then there's a point where you have to jump, right? You have to jump and anchor yourself up, and then you throw a leg over, and then you you uh, um you climb you on top of this onto exactly onto this shit. ledge, and then yeah. you walk up, you know, another fucking maybe 10, 15 feet up, and. Uh, that when you entire, get over there, I was there at the entire time. I'd be like, "You can still not do this." You can I know. Still not do well, the this. thing is, once you get, once you do that jump part, no going and back. you look back, and you're like, "Oh, dude, I can't actually really can't go, go down." Like you'll yeah, fucking yeah. end up slipping and falling going yeah, down. So you have to jump in the water. Yeah. So then I start going up, and then, bro, I'm, <sighs> I'm standing at the edge of this thing, and I'm like, "You have to tell me where to jump," because you see the rocks. It looks, yeah. it looks way smaller when you're up there, like where you can actually jump. I'm like, "Bro, where do I go?" So he's like, "I'll show you. Jump w right where I'm at." So he goes, he does the fucking swan dive again, and I'm up there, and I'm I'm shaking. Your now. legs I'm are like, shaking. I'm like, fuck, dude. Am I really gonna? I I can really hurt myself. I like this is it, it was honestly very terrifying. And then um, like I I eventually just say fuck it, and I jump. You dive or I you just dive. jump? I just feet, feet jump first. Feet first, and I go like this, and I'm yeah. like, if something hits my feet, bro, like I'm just dead, man. You're so high up. Yeah. And I fucking just. I even if your foot down. like bumps off a rock in the water Dude, you'll just like fracture it, it, your shit it'll like hurt so bad yeah. and i really thought i was gonna die and, and you were fine you i just, was fine i swam yeah. up i was like and i was like holy Such shit an adrenaline it was fucking rush. nuts yes. it was nuts and then yanis so then we're about to leave and yanis like i don't think i could do it so we're like all right so we're about he to leave it out then we get there he's like man should i do it i'm like bro it's it was the fucking it's craziest thing that i've ever done and then he's like He's like, fuck, okay, okay, I'll do it. Good. So then he turns back around, we go back, and then uh, he jumps it too. And then what's crazy with him, so Yanis is uh, super, like, monotone, right? Like, he doesn't really, like, get too excited or whatever. And he's like, he's like, he jumps and he comes over. He's like, man, that was the, I felt that so fucking crazy. I'm so fucking, yeah. like, high right now. Like, this is fucking nuts. Yeah. But he's like, the same monotone. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I've never felt so alive. I'm like, really? Fucking. Really, bro? <laughs> Dude, I went to this uh, this quarry in like Montreal on this like uh, native reserve, and there were like <clears throat> like levels like you know a quarry works. There's like a level for, and each level is like where they. Ex I don't know how quarries work. Okay, so it's rocks. like a thing like this, like a reverse Mayan pyramid into the earth, okay. right? So trucks can like drive on drive up whatever and shit. Okay, filled up with water. It's like abandoned, so it was like oh a, okay okay a site for for uh, cliff diving and shit. Like they and used to dig rocks. They used in there? To, yeah, they excavated I don't know a mineral and then they just left it and wow, rainwater okay. filled it up and wow. so yeah, uh, my friends from uh, high school they're like native on the uh, Kanawage Reserve or something. They're so hardcore, man. They're just like a tough fucking people. They're Native American, Native like, Canadians, like Native Canadians. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, same yeah. like yeah. same yeah. breed, so right? I think so. Native yeah, Canadians, yeah. but uh, like. Canadian Indians? Is that what you guys call them? What do you guys call uh, them? Indian yes. Canadians. Inuit. No, not Na Inuit. The native people? No. The natives. We yeah, call them natives. natives. Okay, oh, the native, native Americans. Native Canadian. Yeah, yeah but, but we say like... Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. 
No, they, we say we say sometimes American Indians, so maybe American Canadian Indians. Indians. No, <laughs> they just natives. So the natives, <laughs> but he's like they're full native, like fucking maybe have long hair now. Some of them do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They have like crazy ponytails. Wow, and they have wow. like powwows where this guy powwows. Is, that's what it's called, powwow. It's they, called a powwow. Powwow. That's yeah. where it comes from. It comes from the natives. I guess is that a wow? Th- like yeah. like in America, sometimes you'd be like, oh yeah, have a little powwow. That's where Whatever. that they do. we don't it's really like say a, it. We don't say it, but I've heard it. Fire and one guy dances and you you all. It's like a cookout. You never heard of a powwow? Now you have. Yeah, it's because you fucking don't hang out with friends. It's okay. Hey, friends are inside. overrated. It's overrated. This. Inside. So anyway, safe. this guy's fucking, we're jumping like, I don't know, feet, like meters. Okay, okay how many meters? Like tw- like 10, 10 meters, then 20. There's one like a 50 meter, meter? fucking thing. Yeah. It's Dude, that's like 100 feet. Over I know, it's 100 like a, feet, a, a literal feet. cliff face. Yeah. What? And uh, I'm like, this, that's fucking this nuts. Is, no, I can't. You didn't do it. You can do it. No. <laughs> Fucking hell no. I take one look and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to die. Like, it's like, <laughs> no, I don't want to, I don't want to like, kill myself. Guaranteed like, death. Get guaranteed death. Yeah. And uh, they're like, yeah, our buddy did this the other week and he broke both his legs. I'm like, <laughs> why do you guys do this? Oh, it's fun. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'm like, well, we're, that's, how not, they, that's how they sound. That's how, yes, yeah, how we sound. Really? Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so that was, I did like a few, maybe it was like around 30 feet. Okay, okay. Maybe one still, was. Still, dude, it's still it's exhilarating. It's terrifying. Any, any, any jump, it's still exhilarating. You yeah. said earlier, like you're falling for three seconds. That's a long fucking yeah, time to fall. Like yeah, one, even... two, three of full speed. You're moving fast. Dude, moving and fast. you accelerate so fast. Yes, it's like. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I did one uh, in the. Remember the cenotes we went to in, in Mexico? Cenote. Yeah. 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 We went to one where we could jump in, and uh, there was like a rope off. Uh, you have to like oh, climb yeah. up a tree. No, you have to climb well, like up rock and then up a tree that's like overhanging the thing, and you have to like monkey crawl to the end, and then you either swing off the rope or you just let go. Did you guys do the? Sorry, go on. Nah, that's it. Go what? Did you guys do the the rope swing at Zilker ever on that bridge? You guys ever no, jump off I don't the know bridge? What that is, no. I was, I was concerned about the rope swing being able to carry my. Did you jump off the bridge in, ever? Enormous. No, but I've seen it. I've walked on the bridge. I've seen. You won't jump off, off of it. It's not that high. It's what twenty five foot. 30? It doesn't I seem that know. high. Yeah, I don't know. It's that high. I don't There's know, like but people do it. I don't think feet. the water's that deep though. You hit the bottom. You can hit the bottom. Yeah, I'm yeah. heavy. Fuck you know? that. Yeah, yeah. You just fucking you get into like a cannonball position. I'm twice the size of these little TikTokers that are jumping off that. It's a little wood. What are the <laughs> TikTokers? TikTokers? I, I heard you got something about tick, tick divers or something. So you got difference. something against them? No. No, you just uh, you can disperse the body weight though. You don't have to go as deep. You hit the water and go. Yeah, yeah. So you do. I actually hit. I sh- I jumped like a like a thirty foot bridge before into water, and uh, when I did, I went pencil dive, and as soon as I, I as soon as I hit the water, I pull my arms out and it hurt my shoulder big time uh, yeah like, whips like, your yeah, arms yeah, up yeah, yeah, you yeah. Gotta be, like do it at the right time you just stay like compact yeah then you go deeper yeah yeah. yeah. it is scary you ever do it no cliff jumping yeah. is there another question there or are we um, that there was but do you guys ever go skydiving yes how was that it was fun. You did it? Yeah. I, I you you did attach to somebody tandem? I had to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. How was that? We, got, we <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like front to back? <laughs> Just, uh, 69ing. <laughs> <laughs> you pay extra? <laughs> yeah, I asked for it. <laughs> I got it like upside Dude. down. Like, okay, good to go. <laughs> <laughs> we got to clip that. Can we clip that? That's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Imagine you open oh, up like a skydive business. It's like <laughs> special. You <laughs> <laughs> You have to be in the 69 position. <laughs> you're like, boom, 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 boom. Did you, did you guys sit on the plane in the 69 position? Oh, you're yeah. Like, you had to take off. We just like, like laid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. So the experience, it was it's actually a pretty that funny story. Pretty pleasant. Huh? Yeah. It's actually quite nice. It's relaxing. You know? <laughs> I've never felt such affection. <laughs> All right. So it was, we drove from Montreal to Vermont, which was like, they're all in the air. No, we're driving yeah. from Montreal to Vermont because the skydive place was in Vermont. Oh, right. Okay. It's like right over the border. And uh, we thought it would be a good idea to do it high because you're like high. Smoking Just, weed? No, uh, edibles. So, yeah, let me. <laughs> hold on. So, <laughs> I, I, I thought you were saying it's a good idea to skydive high. Sky, that's like, why yes, of we, course. We of course. Of you don't you want to jump when you're low. You, no, yeah, yeah, you definitely don't do low, that when so you're low. It sucks. <laughs> So like, that's like, why we thought he's like, oh, he's like two stories up. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just hit the ground and the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ow! Fuck, this sucks. <laughs> Why did we do this? It's all considered the sky, you know? So yeah. yeah. We're in the sky right now. It's the so, atmosphere. So go on, go on. So we fucking, we drive and we're approaching the border. And then we're like, I, was, I think I was like 17, 18. And we're like, fuck, they're going to search us. We have to eat the brownies now. And uh, we're all like, yeah, this is, we're, all, we're on board immediately. This is a great idea. Because if we eat it, they can't find it. So we all fucking eat the brownies. And first of all, like way too much, like a full brownie. Jesus Christ. Took me so long to learn the lesson that like one unit of edible is never the right it's, amount. It's not the same of, uh, well, it depends. I don't Whatever. Know. We got yeah. fucking way too high. We make it over the border and uh, we approach, we finally drive up to the, the spot and we're all like fucking cooked, like just destroyed. And <laughs> we get out of the car and we're like, where do we go? Where's the office? We're like fucking stumbling around. Finally, someone like waves us over. We go through this whole course. You know, they say like, this is how you wear the suit. You get an upside down. And fucking, <laughs> this is how you wear the suit, blah, blah, blah. And we're just like in another universe. Finally, it gets to the time where we're going to go up in the plane and we start to like sober up. We figure it out. And uh, then it was, it was pretty normal. It's super cool. You get strapped to a guy who's like big spooning you. You get in line. You go into the airplane and then fucking thing takes off and you go up and then it doesn't really hit you that you're about to jump out of this plane until the door of the plane <laughs> opens up and then like, oh shit this is real yeah it's like oh we're gonna fucking jump out <laughs> it's so immediately loud. loud so fucking loud you wear in these like goggles hey, question. And, do you yeah. wear do you wear earplugs or no or like headphones like there's nothing it's just, um <coughs> nothing nah, like that. it's just just, just goggles just the, those okay, like, okay. Air goggles and like a, a jumpsuit like a jean jumpsuit okay okay and uh, it's so fucking loud. This guy's right here, and I'm like, looking at him, and he's screaming, and I just hear like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. And he's like pointing there. He's like, you there? And I'm like, oh fuck, okay, it's my turn. You climb out onto the rafter of the plane. It was like, you know, fucking wing. What's a rafter? I, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but the the pipes that hold up the wings. You know, like, okay. There's okay. like the plane. Like the, there's a, is there a section? Like double? It's like double wing? Like No, the, no, not double wing. It's just like normal is there a, wing <laughs> and then like two pipes that go out and you climb out onto those pipes and you like hold on to the little thing. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Okay, okay. Then you just fucking let go. <laughs> oh my God. Against Wait. all of your instincts. You <laughs> let go. I know. Dude, the sca- really the scariest God thing. God is looking down like, yo, you better hold it. You better not <laughs> let go. Let, get back in that plane <laughs> and land, you <laughs> fucking Millions idiot. of years of evolution are just like, do in not let go of dude, this. The, the scariest part actually was, yeah, when you climb out onto the plane and they're all like, just don't look down and you won't be scared. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. just like, <laughs> Bro, it's you just see it's the so ground. Far. It's so, so far. It's so far. It's so like everything is so far and so small. I'm like, oh shit. Imagine you thought it was like a simulation or something, and you're like, you're like, uh, oh, I can't yeah, die. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Fucking hell. And then I'm like gripping for dear life. And he's like, he's like hitting my hand. He's like, we have to. The longer he's like me, not holding on, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, he was like, like one, two, three, go. And I felt him. And I'm like. Oh, Wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. In my head, I'm like, no, wait. Let me accept this for a sec. Let me accept <laughs> death like, real quick. Like this fucking he's, Ethan's like, <laughs> but it's the guy. It, like, it fucks up the plane because as soon as we go out, there's you create so much drag with your bodies that the plane starts to do this. Oh my god. So like, wow. They're. <laughs> I remember the pilot was like looking back and like. <laughs> <laughs> This I'm is like, your fault. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then so you, you let go and you do like fucking 85 backflips. The you earth is just. Flips? Yeah, yeah. You, you, they tell you to, from what I remember, being high as a goddamn kite in that fucking like <laughs> tutorial of how to skydive and not die. You tuck into a ball with your big spoon guy on the back, like holding on to you like you're in love and you just fucking tumble like this for, I don't know, felt like a hundred times, and you just see the earth go, whoom, 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 like that, like just the horizon going like in front of your field of vision, and then you open up, and you like free fall for maybe eight seconds at most. Wow. Just any longer than that, you'd fucking hit the ground or something. Anyway, then you like take it, and you have to punch the chute. You don't like You do it. it? They allow you to do it if oh. you can, but like, I, I was just like, Ah, oh, where is it? It was like blowing around. I'm like, I don't just fucking 
wait for him. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, we're getting close. Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> like, there's like a meter thing on your wrist, and they say, look at the meter and hit it when it goes to this thing. It's like flipping around my wrist. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> He's it's looking so at the good. wrong wrist. He's like, <laughs> it's on this Where am I? He's like, no, if, if they allow you to skydive without someone, everyone would die. I really yeah. think like he, there's yeah, well, no you need way. you need X amount. I forget how many hours or, or dives. Hundreds something like yeah, over, yeah. over 100. Anyway, the guy pulls a chute. It's like it punches you in the chest. You go. It feels like you go flying back, but you really just slow down fast. And uh, yeah, then it was just once you hit the chute, then it's like a leisurely descent. You it's can just like a guy on behind you. Yeah, <laughs> he's like pull this side and see what happens. So you you pull one string and like it releases like a little flap that lets air release out of. Maybe that one, I guess. So you like, no, it releases air out of that one. So you dip that side. So you could like, you could steer the parachute and you could spin around really fast. But it was That's pretty sounds, The whole thing sounds yeah. dangerous. It's so yeah, s- dude. It's fucking dangerous. I mean, That's crazy, yeah. man. I, I wonder. I, I would. I would do, do it again. It. No, do it I would. Again? I would do it once. I wonder if it's. I've seen enough like where they because where they sometimes die? they. Spin around. I've seen some just on my Instagram where they they spin and then they a wind a gust of winds come and hits them, twists up the parachute. Or if you fall into the parachute, oh. you you free fall and you're in a bag of ropes. Dude, yeah. fuck that. That's what I'm saying. Fuck and that. It could ha- like I'm not gonna. I don't need it that badly to yeah. fucking. I'm good. What are you gonna say? I, or I saw yeah. something. Uh, this lady was parachuting. Uh, parachute didn't pull. She hit the ground on something. <laughs> <laughs> she just hit the, <laughs> she hit the ground on some something poisonous, I think. And uh, wait, 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 she what like died. She, no, yeah. she did not <laughs> die. She did not die. Uh-huh. Or like something was wrong with the parachute, and she fucked up. Uh, uh, she hit the ground, and she hit something poisonous, uh, and it like made some chemical, like defensive chemical, in her body, and it like kept her alive, alive, for, alive for a little bit longer. So she fucking survived. Huh, like an yeah. adrenaline thing. Something I don't fucking what? know. What? Like a trampoline, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember what Jacob Fuck. said about uh, he almost died skydiving. Jacob. Jacob. Uh, uh fucking. Um, Big Jacob. Jacob. Big Jacob. No, I don't remember the story. So no. he was telling us a story. So like they were just like uh, one of our buddies is like uh, in the Marines, like. Uh, force recon or special ops, whatever, and he would. They what would. What he's up to now? He's in New York. I think he's uh, training. A little bit at Henzo's, I think. Right. But um, <clears throat> he uh, he was jumping from this plane because they like you know, they, they always have to do like jumps, or whatever. And uh, he had like this 500 pound like like <laughs> barrel or something attached to him when they were doing this jump. So you throw the you throw the barrel or whatever, and then he says it goes you, and then you fall and you open up your parachute, or whatever. Um, some for some reason there was. There, there's something called like a Phoenix phenomenon where like, where the barrel, you, and the the parachute Phoenix phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. It's when you, it's just all spiraling down towards the fucking earth, essentially. So yeah. So you're saying you are you and the you and the parachute, parachute are parallel, like yeah. horizontal, yeah. horizontal yeah, yeah, yeah. relative to the earth. Horizontal yeah. spinning and falling. Exactly. Because yes. it's like yeah, wow. yeah. Because the, so, the barrel's pulling you, but now like something happened with the wind, and now you're fucking just circling. When I would pull on one side, if you pull too hard for too long, you start spinning, and it starts like you feel like centripetal force. Like wow. you start fucking. I was like, whoa, that's like it's really feels heavy mm. suddenly so I, I don't know i've never jumped but he was saying i don't so want to when do that happened right so he was technically inside of the like um it's like the term like when you open up your parachute you're supposed to, it's like fatal there or whatever oh like whatever that is like if some, you own up like too high or something too low like oh. so so he's fucking so he uh uh he, he's spinning, right? He has to cut off this fucking satch or the sack, whatever, the, the barrel. You ever so that thing goes throw flying. throw a flare through it? No. But anyway, it goes flames. it goes fucking flying, whatever. Yeah. He's trying to get his his uh, his uh, parachute to straighten back up. It doesn't it doesn't work, so he has to cut that. He opens up, like, the second parachute, but it's inside of that, that like, terminal <laughs> fucking space, space where you're going to die. Where you yeah. can fucking die. Apparently still survived it, right? And then he's, like, sitting in this fucking field, just sitting, and he's, like, waiting for like, the guys to get him. And he's just, like, I almost fucking died. And then they have to go Terrifying. get the uh, get the barrel that, like, landed up on the highway or something. And then they have to go back to training. Wow. And it's just, like, crazy. So, wait, does he know why that happened? 
I'm um, not sure. I didn't phenomenal. ask. I don't know. It's like, yeah, some shit that could happen with the wind and fucking how it's... I wonder if parachuting uh, was developed specifically for military. Because, like, why, I, that, why, what yeah. other reason is there to jump out of a plane? I mean, really, it was probably invented after planes were invented, right? Yeah, I know, well, but, like, you military starts using planes. Actually, I mean, there's there's base jumping. Like, my, my idea know. would be... Was that before? Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying my idea would be... Um, you know, their military gets planes, they start using them, implementing them in war, and then they're like, oh, this is a great way to drop off troops. Yeah, I w- we need to practice this. Yeah, I wonder if they, uh, just idea came from Nope. Came from wow. That. What? Parachutes were invented 4,000 years ago. I mean, it's, it's a lot simpler of an invention than the airplane. The, the airplane that they <laughs> yeah. use it out of, right? How about this? Look up the, who, who started, who was the first person to Giant. jump out of a plane? John A. Parachute. <laughs> <laughs> it's his name. Could be. Could be. What is it? Storm. Oh, it is windy today. That's what's going on? Yeah. It sounds like it. 1912, Tornadoes. Captain Albert Barry made the first parachute jump from an airplane. Okay, so airplane. Captain, oh, he was a military guy. Captain. Yeah, that's 1912, yeah. Oh, so what? Uh, damn, I'm... Never wrong. What, what time do you is mean? That's not. Well, it's right o'clock. Huh? I said. Uh, so I said it was <laughs> invented for the, the military. <laughs> you said parachutes were. I'm saying, yeah, Chinese invented it 4,000 years ago. No, no, I'm saying parachute, jumping out of planes, parachuting from a plane. You didn't say that. You said you said parachutes were invented probably you, for the military. You have to listen to what I was talking about. The, t- the story was about, I was like, I wonder once the military started using planes, if they the military specifically decided <laughs> to start jumping out of planes. Because, yeah, people were parachuting off of what? Paragliding, maybe, and then parachuting? Paragliding. It was intended, oh, maybe it it was was, intended yeah. as an escape device to allow people to jump from burning buildings. Paragliding, the fucking Damn. squirrel suit suit thing. Paragliding. Oh uh, no, paragliding is different. But the squirrel cool. suits are pretty cool. Yeah, too. the little, the little like a uh, human powered uh, yeah. airplane. You just oh, run off a cliff okay, and. Yes. Yeah, you know who does that? You remember uh, Ederson from uh, Costa Rica? Yeah, he does that. Yeah, he does that. Super into it. He almost died too. I mean, yeah, these are all Com- things you'd like. Common, yeah. I would think. <laughs> so basically, so I was like, Shh, you know, actually, um, <laughs> so uh, you can ride the um with the with paragliding, you can ride the. Like the air, the heat waves or whatever. <laughs> water so it's like, too. like when you you jump off this cliff, or whatever you, you're you're flying, whatever you can glide over like this part where where uh, the hot air starts to oh, rise. Oh, you rise and a it starts thermal, to rise. You. Vent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you you can keep gliding, so you can continuously. Like, you ever glide. see birds of prey like circle like that? Apparently they're. So I, oh, they, that's what they're doing. I think yeah, they like because heat rises in a uh, spiral, right? So I've seen like Actually, uh, I don't know if that's circle, why they circle, but I think they. They just ride the heat columns. Wow, wow, that's actually pretty yeah. cool. I would love to so be because the fly. because it's hotter, uh, the air is moving. The air rises. The, ice, the air rises, yeah. rises, but it's also moving more, so you can catch more air. As opposed to if it's cold, and you probably it's probably harder to catch more air because it's moving slower. Well, it is technically it, moving. more. I wonder yeah. if the molecules like shrink too. Like no, if, no, no, if no. it's just it, there, it they, there's more there's space mo- between more space. them because there's more movement, so it expands, and then it's lighter than the other air that sinks under mm. it. So that's it why it rises. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it takes expanding. up more volume. I yeah, guess. Yeah. guys, if you know anybody Science. that we should have, like anybody smart that we could learn something yeah. from, that we should have on yeah, the that'll podcast. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be yeah. Good. So anybody that we should have on the podcast, um, preferably lives like in Austin area, hit our DMs. Uh, yeah. Supplement podcast Instagram. Tag us. Tag them. Yeah. Ta- yeah. Tag us. Tag, tag them to be like, hey, you should hop on the podcast, whatever. Because we would like. I mean, like we're in, we're interested. Like I would love to learn more about health, yeah. more about history. More about history. We should get a fucking historian. Yeah. Like, like should, an ancient should, Egypt. It's just like an Egypt. old person. Yes, yes. Are there any, if you guys know of any historians online yeah, that have a social media, yeah. hit us up. Yeah. We need, it would be Hancock. great if we actually learned things. What if we got Graham yeah. Hancock? Oh, yeah, that would be insane. He's not going to. He's so famous, up. though. Graham we're Hancock, bro. Stupid I'm guy. so into, like, those videos right now. I don't yeah, know. I'm going cool. through, like, a little phase. Um, so should he, we go to like UT and, and get like some? Well, dude, we should. We should. Let's let's fucking, just go there and ask students who's who, the smartest. Who's the I'm sure smartest we could just go. On, who is your leader? Go on, go on Google and be like, <laughs> take me to your leader. Yeah. <laughs> we could be like go go Google go fuck Google. Google. We could goggle Google. Yeah, we could go on Google and uh, figure out UT UT uh, historian head of yes. head of history something like that. The uh, leader of history. Like, who should have a message? Would be good. Yeah, I agree. Leader of history. Guys, guys, so listen to some of this shit, man. So, like, the pyramids. Like, we were talking about how the pyramids built and shit like that. It, it's, it's insane. 
what fucking Graham now granted some of the Graham Hancock's things I think are a bit too a bit out there. Bit too out there. Who is this Graham Hancock? Graham Hancock. He Graham. believes so, Graham Hancock. He's on Joe Rogan. Yeah, G R uh, like Graham now. Cracker, like G R A H A M. Graham Hancock. He's on Joe Rogan. But um Delicious. Mm. You dip him in milk. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> With so, coffee. He, he had s'mores. He, be, yeah. he believes that like the, the ancient guy. civilization or ancient Egypt, like there was an ancient civilization that was way more intelligent than we give them credit for now. And like one example is like Egypt. So like the pyramids, like we don't really know how they were built because like these stone blocks that weigh like fucking like 40 tons yeah. are being lifted 300, 400 feet in no the air. Is there no explanation for that? We just still? don't like with mechanical like Not leverage. Not with enough like le levers, pulleys, because you can, you can decrease how much force you, isn't yeah, there some yeah, kind of mathematical pulleys? thing? Like so the pulleys, thing is, is like, shit like that. So they apparently yeah, ancient Egypt the was in the Bronze <laughs> Age, right? It was in the Bronze Age. What is that? What's ancient, bronze? Bronze. Are we in the third, Golden Age, in the third US? place. I mean, we have like we have means, way way that, harder metals now. Have to now. do with like their, the technology to uh, <coughs> to make tools was only you're only able to make tools using bronze. Bronze, like that was the hardest yeah. metal that they could. That was the, there was the no peak. steel yet. Yeah, yeah. no, because like, there's no, no iron, iron. No iron. The iron, no steel. Yeah, because yeah, iron, you, you get yeah, no, you yeah, get yeah. steel from iron. Exactly. It's like oxidized so it's like, like iron, right? The Iron Age came next, I guess, and then and steel, steel, and then fucking, now there's like fucking oh. harder metals that we can we can uh, um, you make, know, make use. Like but properly. but the thing is, is like yeah. so apparently for each block of stone to saw through using bronze it's like an inch per hour right that they can, that they can do but there's Saves. millions of the there's millions of these stones and millions? is there actually millions yes of those i think stones? it's like 3 million stones Holy and shit. the thing is the nearest quarry is 500 stones. miles away and it's an inch per hour and some of these <coughs> some of these stones weigh like up to 40 tons and they're raising it 300 Juice. feet in the air it's like it's it's like uh it's like skyscraper level essentially yeah, it's like goodness. how did these people with no electricity no you know jews are smart well strong it's fucking nuts and on our back so Ugh. so some people say like they 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 play uh, volleyball with them some people say that they they used ramps but then graham hancock was like <laughs> Guys, they're doing jumps off them. He's shit. like, dude, you can't even like. How's the, the terrain? Like, is it flat straight from the quarry to the sand desert? So it's it's flat uh, though. So that they could they could essentially pull so get some logs and put the put the get the slide it. That was one thing. Another slide, thing, yep. uh, I heard this theory that they, they would like float them down the river. Down the They'd, river. Like, Put logs and they flip upside down and they they float under yeah. the water. Yeah, there, there the were some things. They... There were some things about rivers, but then also but on the, the opposite side of like the river. There are also these these obelisks that also are like fucking like upriver. Like yes, yeah, like it's like huge, like humongous. It's like it doesn't make sense how they move. If these they big found things. one of those one of those blocks, and it's five hundred miles away, yeah. five hundred miles. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they found one of those blocks in the river because they're bound to have one or two mistakes. You know what I mean? They drop uh, one yeah, in the river, maybe it'd one be there. Yeah, if yeah, one is in there, then that's like good yeah. evidence. That Unless they have scuba even, gear, they could get it out. <laughs> even Back even then. if they bring it to that place, it's like. How do you – so then not only th – that that's one feat, actually getting the blocks there. But now apparently the the faces of the pyramid are aligned with true north, south, east, west within mm. three sixtieth sixtieths of a degree. Remember so it's how like they, how do they – Remember how, they, when they explained the mind pyramid, how they used the sun yes. shadow? I think wow. it's fucking nuts. It is nuts. insane outside yeah, it's crazy right outside. now. We're going to be able to hear I wonder – yeah. I want, tornadoes. I looked up uh, soundproofing and half the room said it didn't. They, like, they don't work. work, yeah. Oh, well. What? Well, anyways, anyways, uh, guys, come on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pyramids. Pyramids. How fucking nuts. Yeah. I'm going through, like, a whole rabbit hole with this shit. It's Do you like, have, what's your theory, then? Do you have a dude, personal I think, theory? I think these guys are all, were actually way more intelligent. I don't know. Like, as if as if maybe if they... they were way more intelligent, why, don't, why didn't they have technology that well, we Well, so to? the thing... So this is what Graham Hancock proposes, and he, he's found a lot of evidence for this. He actually believes that there was a cataclysmic event about 12,000 years ago where... All where this intelligent society was essentially extinct, or like not extinct, but the only, so say a there flood was, of some sort. Did, um, that well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and there's on top of the pyramid you built. Well, the thing is, imagine, imagine there was a huge cataclysmic event in America. I got all the solutions right now. All the, all <laughs> yeah, the, they, they had Jay around, they'd still be here. <laughs> listen, listen. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so if there was a cataclysmic event, we'll just say in America, not even the world, just America, right? And all the majority of Americans died. The Elon, like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, the nerds essentially of society that actually produce, they're they're gonna die off. There's no way they're gonna be able to take food from us, right? The brutes, the dumb brutes. 
So it's like no take food from us. <laughs> like so that's essentially what he thinks happened. He said because like there's um <coughs> there's evidence first of this cataclysmic event that he calls the Younger Dryas uh, age twelve thousand years ago where there was a a cataclysmic event and um, he thinks that that killed off this very intelligent society and the only people that survived were hunter gatherer societies that knew how to survive off of nature like they weren't using agriculture does, does he know what this event was yeah so basically he had found evidence all across the world right essentially um there's this one layer that he called i think it's the younger dryas it's like, like a sediment. water water mark across uh it's it's uh there there's there's specks i think of diamond in this sediment and that this can this amount of uh, uh force can only be can only be created or whatever through um like asteroids or meteors like hitting the earth oh, or whatever like pressure to yeah to, to actually burn into and exactly into shit. diamonds okay, or something yeah. i think it was diamonds or maybe uh, a platinum there's like that, some that makes that, sense because pressure makes diamonds and, <laughs> and that's why you're diamond <laughs> but no nah, i don't I, I think though. it was diamond or maybe platinum I or i forget what it was there's yeah. some some substance that's across uh all like multiple continents at the same time mm -hmm. or whatever and uh he believes that's from this this uh meteor or whatever and like they, there's just i mean i don't know i went through down a fucking rabbit hole clearly it's affecting you. yeah and my mental health is, is yeah is yeah struggling I don't, know, I don't know much about this shit but um you guys Dude, believe in god real quick yeah oh. tell me how crazy that is think about it so america <laughs> crazy america is like less than 400 years old and yeah. now we're talking something about like 12,000 years ago. Yeah. That's insane. We think about people 200 years ago or 300 years ago and Ground we're like that kind of trading radar. 400 is not that long ago. It's not that a long ago at all. Yeah, it's we're it's not a that few generations. Yeah, like ago. my great great. Yeah, that, that's it. Great great. Yeah, great great. That's it. Right? Yeah. No. Great 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 great. I don't know. It's four. I, I think two. If you talk 100, two, 100 400 years ago. Yeah, but you're saying your great grandma yeah, had their tree. Great, great. No, no, tree. Yeah, my but grand, your great great grandma. My, my grand, my great grandma's <laughs> mom. <laughs> but anyway, Look, guys, it's bro, crazy. Twelve thousand years ago, crazy nuts. I want it to be diff like proven. Like I want to find some shit oh. that I can latch onto that I could be like, okay, well, yeah. You know, also, you know? um, what? Not that I don't believe it. But, yes, yes. You know. So, uh, the stuff that we have now, actually, too. So, um, the only thing. So what what he says also, it's difficult to find hard evidence given like you know tens of thousands of years or whatever. Also because a lot of, like a lot of the shit now that we make like if there's a cataclysmic event and um you know we die in like ten thousand years ago this phone is gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be sand. Like, there's really not gonna be any true evidence of this. There'll be fossils. <clears throat> There'll be. That's actually well, pretty interesting. No, no, like, like there'll so, be remnants of so, shit, like well, the, houses. So if you, if no, you no, the majority stuff, of the things. So if you just leave that phone in, in the dirt and you come back ten thousand years from now, it'll probably be just dust. It's just gonna be like, earth. yeah, it's gonna be. Destroyed. You don't think some of the like little intricate hardware is like the wires and the well, soldering? The, it's and plastic. And it's metals. Like, like, like it's, it's all. It's, it's all destroyed. elements. You know. Yeah. yeah it's gonna. It's gonna digestion. be destroyed. Maybe not ten thousand years, but give it like fifty thousand years. It's gonna be fucked. It's gonna. So the only thing, the only things that that can stand the test of time. Really are like these this stone Pyramids. like the stone like granite, oh, this hard ass fucking material. These things aren't that hard, you know. It's like they they get destroyed. Not like me, no. I'm always hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also like Interesting. we lost 25 million square miles of coastal area. So it's like most people, most civilizations, we usually um, settle like around coastal areas or waterways so we can we have access trade. to trade exactly yeah. and he says that um uh there the sea levels have rose or risen 400 feet the past uh i think maybe 10 20 000 years so even things on the coast we wouldn't be able God to destroyed yeah yeah they're destroyed by tidal waves salt, salt water kills salt water bro, destroys yeah. shit exactly restarts so um yeah i don't know that's my rant <sighs> well you heard it here Damien's take. He's this clearly very wow. interested. Tastes like grape, really. Well, you guys, uh, how's your love life? <laughs> huh? How do you want to know? I think the people would be interested in knowing. Uh, it does. This I'm is literally a, uh, grapefruit. 
Right, it's orange mango, but it's, that's fucking grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Yeah, maybe yeah. that is orange mango. That's what a grapefruit is. Yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah. yeah no, what do you guys I mean, think? Um, what's, uh, what's I have on? a girlfriend. My girlfriend lives with me. Yeah. Interesting. I have a I have a girlfriend. She is uh, gonna live with me. She does motocross, right? She used that's, to. Oh yeah, yeah. blonde that's rider. Fucking cool. Yeah, she probably yeah. beat you guys in motocross. I don't, I'm, I'm I'm I don't know about that. <laughs> Sounds like that's pretty good. I'll stay in the trails. She does. She does like uh, enduro. She doesn't do the the. Oh jumps. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. She'll beat you. Yeah. <laughs> really? What is tum- enduro? Tum- enduro is yeah. fucking crazy. What's enduro? What's, What's enduro? enduro? Yeah. It's like it's not like a normal like race track. It's like uh, it's you, like you, an obstacle course for your dirt bike. Yeah, you'll, you'll be like, you need immense control. What do you mean an uh, obstacle course? Like what, you, what are like, you doing? What? So like a uh, example would be like they'll lay, they'll lay a bunch of logs and you have to up and over the logs using your bike. Oh. Maybe have maybe have to. Um, yeah, maybe she's better that's than what I thought. She does? I, maybe there's I some, think so. Yeah. Maybe there's what? some. Maybe there's some. I'm gonna post videos. Motherfucker. Of that. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Ethan. <laughs> maybe there's yeah. some. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's gonna kill you. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Damien Show. <laughs> go on, go on. That was it. It's ruined. It's ruined. No, 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 no. It's not ruined. I mean, you on, gotta go stay focused. <laughs> Come on, what if WWE? There's some piece of shit. <laughs> Come on, he can't control his emotions. I'm He's gonna co- kill you. I'm, I'm in control. I'm in control. That was it. Uh, are you <laughs> apologize? Come on, I'm sorry. Come no, on, no, no. It's all right. I was just saying what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Uh, that there'd be some logs that she can go over. There's some boulders that she'll be on, be able to ride on top. Things like that. Okay. Obstacle okay. course for the bike. What's it called when they do like? Um, I don't think it's like laps, but it's still like not on a track. It's it's out in the wilderness, out, out kind the of fucking wilderness. I've seen videos of that where they're like racing through like a fucking desert, and yes. there's like no track really. It's yeah. like next to a road, basically. Mm-hmm. That's just fucking. And then there's like uh, there's really like different good. sections, like fucking like big like rocks they gotta go through, and then like fucking. Like be nimble through like tr- like a tree. Oh, I think that's called hard enduro. Hard enduro. Hard enduro. It's just, just called hard enduro because it's like a obstacle course, but it's not like in in an arena where it's short. It's short out laps. in nature. Yeah. Like, it's out in nature. Damn. Maybe it's like a, a marathon style. You have to do like fifty miles or something like that. Oh, you know, that's I, I would cool. be. I would miles. be it's very crazy. down. That's cool. You guys have miles. your motorbikes here? No, but we'll buy them, dude. I would. I'm not gonna do if I don't do jumps. I won't get injured. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. It, you're, you're, He's in. Your ability to your probability of, of getting injured lowers drastically. drastically. Okay, dude. So this I can is commit. somebody that had crashed yeah, the 50 but I cc my life. experience though. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I know. Now he has experience. Yeah. Exactly. You will. You, will you guys fell start. on bicycle. Why? I hurt my shoulder a little bit a month. You know. Yeah. Yeah. A month. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So when she comes down, we'll get bikes and we'll fucking. Where are you gonna keep them? Nicky, Nicky Rod's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah could, I mean, right could, here. Could put him in your apartment. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Tons that's a great view. That is Sick. a great, beautiful. Look at that thing every day. View. Yeah. yeah, I'll put him on my enormous balcony. Is a lot of, <laughs> well, doesn't she have dirt bikes? Why don't you just bring them? She, uh, I think she sold. She had a Honda CR, CRV. <laughs> it's not the CRV. Yeah. <laughs> uh, CR one fifty, maybe is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. CR two fifty. Yeah. I don't know. A CR two one fifty and two fifty. Two two fifty. Two fifty. Was that two fifty CCs? Is that what that means? That's what I wanted. I had a. I had a. Um, Maybe yeah, that's not right. I had a uh, TTR two thirty, which was like um, DTR, really good, uh, like trail bike. Uh, but we started going on on uh, like the racetrack and stuff, and I I wanted a uh, two fifty, but I net like. That's when Nick started jujitsu. So what, what does two fifty mean? It's, it's CC. I don't know. It's just like it's, a little bit. I bigger think it's bike. CC. Yeah, it's it's CC, like yeah. faster, it's just a bit bigger bike. Uh, hardcore engine. And it's like Fuck yeah, thank you. Like shout uh, out, Carne Jerky. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the bike is just so much like. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so much better. Two fifty. Also, well, there's right. four stroke and two stroke. Mm. I had my first bike was. A How two- many cylinders are in the engine? Or no? I have no clue. All I know is two stroke got the big big old pipe, and then four stroke has a small pipe. Four stroke is more reliable. Two stroke is it more powerful? More powerful. It has power, a, right? uh, I would think. Two stroke has a power band, is what it's called. So you'll be like, you say you're in like second or third gear, and you're gunning it. Once you hit like a certain speed, you get like an extra boost. Wow. It is fucking wild. Wow. 
it's it's That's awesome. Right, yeah, I, I definitely think I'm gonna hurt myself doing this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, most most bikes you, you'll buy, especially maintenance wise, should be. Like, yeah, don't get a two stroke. I I, I, blew, I blew mine up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Dude, there was All one right. tiny bike that my friend had, um, and I was just ripping it in the street and. I don't know how fast I was going, but I felt like I was going a million miles an hour, and I was like, I feel like I'm gonna hit a pothole and just yes. eat shit. Like, yeah. well, you gotta I'm, get like good suspension and stuff. I the thing about yeah, dirt bikes; yeah. they'll they'll eat the potholes. Yeah. Like, really? No pro- yeah. Well, I don't know about no. Sometimes yeah. Yam- Yamaha. What about like guys that like? So they have um, you know, the the Ducatis or whatever, like like fucking mm-hmm. actual street, street bikes, bikes, whatever, like, they and they're ripping the it like they're on they the highway. Pothole. Like, what happened? Like yeah. the the bike just eats it. They're not worried about it at all. Well, they have suspension depending on how big the pothole is, but like, um, yeah, I mean. Can road? a pothole, like, fuck you up? Uh, for sure. A pothole can fuck you up. A rock in the road. Uh, Dude. Mud, yeah, what if, what if a car hits up a rock, smashes your helmet, like, what do you... Or even your chest. Yeah, oh, that's right. a projectile. The, riding in the road is so much more dangerous than yeah. uh, dirt biking. For sure. Dude, I, I got two cracks you. in my windshield right now from fucking rocks, from, like, trucks and what shit. What those hit your... Yeah. Throwing it up. Face. Dude, yeah. yeah. And you don't have to wear a helmet in Texas either. Imagine that. Dude, I've seen people not wear. That's like, multiple people that's don't wear it. Don't wear Darwinism helmets. And I'm like, right there. wow. Like, you're fucking. The thing is, I think you're bound. If you have a motorcycle, it's not about if you fall. I think. Matter of time, I think yeah. you'll always fall. It's when. Same thing with like athletes getting injured. It's like motorcyclists are watching this now, thinking like it was fucking. There's, there's pros and cons to, to both. To ha- yeah. Having a helmet and not not having a helmet. What's the cons of having a helmet? Can't uh, see vision. Yeah, vision. Peripheral. Yeah, you, 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 peripheral peripheral uh, vision and also hearing he- hearing isn't the best um so you can kind of like have but sight have is most better. important yeah sight so you can't you can, like you sense have a car on your exactly. you judge your peripherals how far you can see yeah peripherals? Hel- helmet really like affects that yeah, probably but stops is, right isn't here. it like <laughs> we should close it <laughs> <laughs> people who ride bikes and don't wear a helmet are watching this thinking like wow those guys are fucking no i think i think they're dumb I'm not lying. You think I mean, they're dumb? I, I don't they think agree you're... with it, but I see it looks the, really the cool. Reasons why? But well, if I mean, they it think it's cool, feels way better. Not, that's that's, that's the only weird. reason why, because they think it's cool. N- oh, I mean, I guess, but there's other people like, like my teacher, right? Right? Or my old teacher would ride bikes, and he said the moment he would like cross the state line from like Jersey to like Delaware or something, he would just take his helmet off because it's like he felt unsafe not being aware of the people around him. Yeah, the oh, cars you, around him. Yeah, but you bro, can't somebody, see or, or hits hear you, them. Doesn't matter. Somebody you hits you from behind, you're dead. You yeah, I mean, I agree with this. See. You have mirrors. You go check your blind spot. It's not that like when you think about you got a it's neck. Just, it's, when the, when motor when you watch motocross, they're wearing the helmets and they're they're constantly. I mean, they're not worried about cars. But they're, 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 they're people racing. Right people are, them, yeah. are, are all around them, I and guess. they have their peripherals. I think it's more. I think it's more so of a. They're trying, to, be trying cool. to pick up some ladies or someone. Yeah, I would ride my, my bike without a helmet. That, that 50 year old dude is picking up ladies? Yeah. That's, well, he's showing his bike off. Dude, this carne jerk is really good. The spicy one? Oh, thanks this for the shout out. Fire. The lem- lemon pepper? My favorite. Lemon, lemon pepper is also yeah. really good too. Guys. Garne jerky. Check us out. Instagram underscore garne jerky. This is spicy. We got a few other flavors. Um, DM us on Instagram to get your own bag. And yeah, we got the secret sauce inside. Boom, secret sauce. Check it out. Uh, when are you guys gonna do like shipping and stuff? Uh, we're doing shipping now. We're, we're just like having people DM us, and we'll ship it out through oh. there. Um, but the website is in development right now, and uh, once we get it, they'll get it. Is That's that good. Carney? Yep. Carney jerky. Nice. Carney jerky, Who's, yep. What is this? Yeah, it's just my jerky company. I'm a, uh, I'm a fan of the jerky. I finally found something that you're a jerker. I'm a, I am. I'm a, I just the jerk. How often do you jerk? I mean, a lot of people like to jerk, so I got to jerk from. I like to jerk when I'm hungry after practice. Yeah. I jerk on the go. I I juice up my jerk. Yeah. No, I just had one. You got to moisturize good. your jerk. For yeah, you sure. got to moisturize your jerk. It gets too dry. Yes. Spice, spicy jerk. Yes, yeah, because I'm the, I'm the Natty King. We put a syringe in there full of That's spicy, funny, man. spicy jerky. I can't believe you're completely clean. That's a huge... Man, when we were... You, I, yeah, I can't believe you either. I can't believe you either. So, sorry, sorry, dude. When we were all in, uh, in Jersey, and uh, well, at Henzo's Jersey, uh, we were like, yeah, yo, do you ever, you ever juice, blah blah blah, and you're like, no, nah, no, nah. but we didn't really know you, so we're just like, okay, he's fucking lying just to look us. Look at each like, other, like, yeah, like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. And uh, yeah, I remember like everyone's like, I don't know why he's lying to us. Like he doesn't want to tell us, I guess something like that. And fuck, lo and behold. Here we yeah, are, bro. Natty. Crazy. Natty gang. You never, like, 
considered it like really you're like ah shit maybe I'll fucking most definitely I've had what was your I, the closest you got um well mentally I was like uh, uh there was like a six month period in in when we were training in New York where I felt like I was having a really hard time seeing progress and I was mm. just like COVID and, era not COVID era before before COVID and I was just I was just after like, 2019 ADCC yeah after yeah I'm just after. trying to get better well when is the because like remember we were in in Henzo's and we would like Nikki Rod started coming in more and more he was clearly part of the team and we're like bro you ever fucking look you're insane your physique whatever you ever do steroids and he's like nah never. I did not believe him at all yeah so I was saying I'm like all of us were like oh, okay yeah sure bro and then we'd like fucking after we'd be like okay he clearly just doesn't want to tell us or something but like fucking come on yeah gordon also convinced me that yes. like he's like, like if you he's think he's not yeah. yes you're stupid i'm yeah, like well i don't want to be stupid. i'm not stupid, not stupid so <laughs> he's on steroids yeah i know i'm smart <laughs> so i asked him what his closest like the closest he considered doing it and i'm surprised after 2019 because you killed it 2019 you broke out you're like would you think like, oh, this shit's working? I don't need to fucking. Well, bro, I so was he's saying. Sorry, he's saying after 2019, one day you or one. Well, you asked me what's the closest I ever yeah, came yeah, to yeah. like. So like mentally thinking about it, I had like a six month uh, period where I felt like I was having a really tar- hard time seeing progress, and I was just having hard rounds every day with like Gordon, Craig, and just caught in this loop, and, and um, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, no, I was just contemplating it, um, especially like, like uh, just the recovery aspect because we were co- we were training every so day hard. And bro, before I got like good technique, like all I could do was try harder. Yeah. You feel me? Like I was just doing the same shit over and over. Like but I was at a higher speed. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, if I just don't stop moving, I'll yeah, yeah. I'll get out. You know what I mean? And eventually, I would get out. But it, it just takes take more toll. more get out force bro, every time. I'll, like you're, yeah. before I was I was I shut the ego down and I was like, all right, I'm gonna learn something. I was just like, all right, try harder. Just yeah. just keep going. Here. Eventually, you're like, I, I gotta change up yeah. this game plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> you can't sustain this. <laughs> I'm gonna burn out. Bro, honestly, it was hard for me sometimes to ask questions. Like if I was having a problem with like Gordon and Mount or something like that, I, it was hard for me to ask questions because I was just like, I didn't want to let them know that I, I, I needed know. help. I was like, no. I'll help. figure it out yeah, myself. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as help. soon as you, you ask them a question about this, it means you're struggling with yeah. that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. it's like you, they know my weakness. Yeah. <laughs> they, know, they know I'm struggling. <laughs> but yeah, I really had to, once I started asking like a lot of questions, like, I, I got good. What What's crazy, to be honest, is like, so when you feel guys that you've trained with natty and then they go on gear and you continue training with them, it is insane. Like, like the dude, difference they like Jay, Jay came in one day for example <laughs> and like he was still just as weak as he <laughs> <laughs> nah okay. Jay's like, fucking strong man he gets connects his hands he's fucking strong but yeah, yeah he's natty though he's natty but like guys in the gym that uh go on and then you train with them it's like it happens it's fast too it's fucking crazy yeah, it's like so overnight man one of my I guess I won't say his name but one of my main training partners he he told me like two days before he hopped on like a specific thing and i was like i don't know what that is but okay yeah yeah and then like two days later he's just like Fuck me up. <laughs> and i'm like what who, talk, talk the about your talk fuck about who is, is, who is it? <laughs> uh, bro i was dumbfounded how uh, ri- how quick and drastic of a change especially when you go you train with them every day so you really you get feel a feel it for you can yes. feel what it positions yeah. they're strong in what happens here blah 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 xyz then like the next day the same position same scramble suddenly it's like a car is on top yes. you're like oh well, my goodness the thing yeah. also is like so when you're training with the same people it's like you guys are also progressing like the, the rounds might get tougher but you guys are yeah. progressing at the same rate yeah then now you add on wham, like, layers of you're strength like, whoa shit Jesus this is Christ. fucking crazy yeah um Another reason I was like contemplating, uh, like just steroids in general, um, when when I was going through that six month stretch, I would see a specific guy I was training with, like go from being a really really tough round, and then I'd be like, and then I would like get the better of him for like a few days or maybe a week or so at a time, and I realized then it was like him going from a peak to like maybe a bit yeah. lower than than his peak and i was like damn it makes this much of a difference and me like i'm consistent every day you know what i mean to, but to see him you're just like you're at a constant yeah you, you fluctuate but not as much as someone who's juicing yeah. they're gonna fluctuate like 
fucking crazy. Exactly. Yeah. To see this training partner that me be like have like do really really go with him and then him hit the peak and be like it'd be much harder for yeah. me. I was like fuck like it makes that much of a difference. Dude, the uh I really hope this is true. I'm going to say it anyway, but I th I recall hearing that like the difference between a man and a woman in terms of testosterone levels, let's say it's like I don't know fucking x difference. The difference between a a man on steroids and a man natural is like 10x difference. It's wow. like wow. you're there to, to us to a girl, like you feel how weak they are, that's like 10 times what they feel yeah. you get what I'm saying. I've said it changes that in, your in your way, skin, your yeah. your your body. Yeah, like it you, makes your bones denser. Everything it does everything. make your bone denser. It's actually yeah. a treatment for osteoporosis. Something maybe wow. osteoporosis. Whatever. Yeah, that that's crazy. Women, women's normal test levels range from 15 to 70. That's crazy. It, it might be a different like scale. Oh, I, I'm looking at like women sea slugs. Never mind. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> like it, like it, it does nine hundred for them. For us, mean the same nine hundred for a woman. You know what I mean? I Milligrams, know. grams, whatever. There's like a tornado outside right now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we we've had a tornado here. warning. Yeah, yeah there is Texas tornadoes, man. Yeah, yeah, no, fifteen to seventy. Wow, Sheesh. and yeah, a male, yeah. three hundred to a thousand. Oh, so, oh, three hundred is. I wonder what mine is. Three hundred is low. And um, a thousand is like upper, high. Yeah. Upper I think even there. being at like the upper range of normal, like a thousand, like that's substantially better than like eight hundred, five hundred. Yeah, I mean, I would uh, think. I, from what yeah, I yeah. know, the higher the better, right? The yeah, more yeah. there is, yeah. the better. Oh. Did you that's talk to crazy. Derek at all when you guys had that back and forth? Like, ask um, any questions about it? You know, uh, I don't, more, I don't think we ever got into that. Uh, I, I didn't really chat with Derek much. Like, I, I. Go did I did the test and then I was like, hey, let me know if you have any questions. He was like, all right, no problem. And then after the video, I was like, hey, thanks for the for the content. You know what I mean? I, yeah. podcast. I appreciate you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, Maybe say we yeah. video call him or something. But okay, so you never like went in like, hey, is what does this mean? What does that mean? Like you're. Well, I mean, he kind of broke it all down. Broke on it down the, on the channel. Yeah, on the yeah. channel. Yeah, okay, I mean, he yeah. answered pretty much all the questions I could. I could, could have. have had, yeah. yeah, and also like, I wish I got. I wish I got to tell him like, hey, I, hey, I wasn't really fasting like full. I didn't, I didn't do the twelve hour fast. Yeah, because he you know thinks I mean? you're like the diabetic yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, definitely high cholesterol, but like then the other the other insulin, insulin maybe, stuff. Insulin might be fucked up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying insulin's definitely not. It's good. Yeah. 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 Because you you weren't actually fasting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that I don't know. I should get my blood work done. I guess I'm like yeah. concerned with how much because I've been going to In and Out with you guys every time. So yeah. I'm like, fuck, maybe yeah, I'm. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> I'm guy. just I'm just more adamant now about eating um, fiber with my meals. Avocado, right? So like, if I have a bunch of protein, uh, previous yeah. I would just have meat uh, and like maybe a little bit of carbs and, and some then that's some it. fruit. Like that's about that's about it, but me I'm being way more adamant about eating veggies with my food, so I think that'll make a substantial difference. Somebody asked um, if you had to choose one jujitsu technique to defend yourself in a street fight, what would it be and why? Buggy, guillotine, because you could like choke them standing guillotine, street, and you're yeah. and you're looking around, watch your back, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, a really good guillotine. Oh, that could be. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not um, bad. Like one submission or one one technique, just one technique. I don't know the technique. Is, that's the answer. I don't know. I didn't a like, go good fucking follow. double leg. Yeah, like but was... double leg and probably like try, try to let him go, drop him on the head. Yeah, you know, like so you don't. Ethan's good at that. Yeah, yeah, it's a are, great yeah. move. That's what he's practicing. I've for been the doing streets. it way safer lately. <laughs> Dude, Roman, Roman, uh, uh, picked you up and dropped yeah, you exactly. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was karma for all his fun. <laughs> you just bad. Yeah, fucking... Well, it's karma against you. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Karma okay. for all you fucking pussies. Called no, <laughs> for you, for you. It's karma you for yeah. To me, for all you bad pussies. karma because that's why you that's got dropped. That's what, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. saying. No, you're saying for you pussies. No, <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> how does he get this and you don't? Come the, on, the simple brains over there. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. Yeah, yeah, yeah down we, here. Yes, down here. No, no, no. <laughs> it's karma for you, my enemies, <laughs> who call me the spaz. It's karma for you. Okay. You get the so good one, karma. One, one technique. Double leg. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, calm down. Calm down. Uh, double leg. That's not bad. I like yeah. guillotine actually. That, I yeah, guillotine that double leg. Definitely like a, a standing. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the Diaz brothers uh, choked out like. Oh, uh, Logan, Logan Paul's, Paul's double. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it's and Logan Paul's him. double. It's actually yeah. like a stunt double or no, something. No, no, no. Like, it's like, just, like, like everyone knows. Like, that guy's a, a boxer apparently. 
I don't know who he is. He's a really boxer. Really best boxer. I, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, he is a, he's a pro boxer. Yeah. Maybe like a, I don't know. But yeah. they, they uh, put the charges out uh, like against Nate, and then I think I saw a video of like the when it happened. The dude was like walking up to him in his face, and, in his face, and then like puts his hands up, and then Nate chokes him out. And then I the don't camera know, I goes like see. this, yes. and then back, and it's just the guy's just, unconscious, ah. and Nate like ditching the body. I don't, I don't body. know. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like from the video, like people are like all team Nate, and like don't get me wrong, I like I'm team I'm, Nate. I'm, I agree with you. I don't <laughs> think oh, why? like it's gonna look bad because he he has his hands up. Like I don't it know. It does look bad. But the guy, was, bad the guy was closing distance. But yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the guy walks up to, you, up to you, you with his hands like this. That's like, not. Well, he's like you would he, back up. Well, he's like he's like, like he's like bro. Like like I don't know. Like I don't know. Fucking this guy's coming at you with his hands up. Fuck that. Like, I'm going to get you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, like, no, back up. If you're not int- intending to fight me, don't walk yeah. to me like this. Yeah. There's crazy. fights going on, and he's walking up to him, hands out. doesn't matter. Hands get the out. fuck you're, away yeah, from yeah, me. Yeah. Really? They're don't not come be near like, me. Like, I can, see, I can see somebody, like, else being, like, like coming towards you, being like, hey, bro, like, calm down. It's okay. It's That's okay. A, no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> I almost did it. <laughs> I can't let you get close. I can't let you get close. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I think I think Nate might be fucked. Like, not fucked that bad, but he's going to... The camera didn't it, even see what happened. I know, and it's going to be worse for Nate, I think. Well, I think he could just be like, oh, this guy fucking... J- he tried to jab me. He tried to punch me while he was... And then I walked away, and he went for a nap. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, strangling somebody unconscious, although we know it's not that dangerous... Well, um, it's dangerous because he dropped, dropped him on his the head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, that, is, that is like... The, lethal yeah, force now, yeah. The like bonk. It's lethal. dude, and he he yeah. could have died. Yeah. Like, ah, there's there's a lot of times that people have like smashed their head on the on the uh, concrete and died. Yeah, so it's like uh, Nate Nate might team Nate I, all the way. I, I mean, I don't know, I don't know the story. I don't know what happened. I don't know who's in the right or yeah. wrong. Me either. The video. I'm not gonna learn about it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I right. don't give we'll a be, shit. We'll be ignorant to it. Fuck it. Wiz Khalifa is doing jiu-jitsu, right? I never saw that, but interesting. I saw he yes. tweeted it. He tweeted like, "I guess I'm gonna do jujitsu." Yeah, now. So I'm like, yeah. All right. yeah, I think he's hopping on high rollers. Really? He yep. has a match on high rollers. I could have swore we just talked about this 40 minutes ago. I was gonna say. I Wait, think did we, did we? You have fucking. I think we did. <laughs> I thought we talked <laughs> about that in the kitchen. That's why. Should... Yeah, I also think we talked about it in the kitchen. Oh, we're talking about oh, we have, we have a, we have a, I don't know, okay. a message. No. You guys. Got... What were your favorite parts of living in Puerto Rico and your least favorite? Uh, well, right. going there and then leaving him. three days later. Yeah, Jay had a, his own yeah. experience with uh, Puerto Rico. I sent it to Jim. Um, oh yeah, best Nari part. Go, yeah. Best part. Well, we had best part was being in the Ritz. That was right? by far the the highlight for best. sure. That's gonna be my best yeah. part. Yeah, being in the Ritz, all your buddies. Uh, that one time we played tag on the beach, like it's grown fun. ass men. Super like, yeah. like a freeze <laughs> yes. tag. Yeah, 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 freeze tag. <laughs> I wasn't there for that actually. No, I remember. Yeah, we played for like a big group of us. That was so yeah. fucking. I was yeah. exhausted. I was like, oh my I god. I was gas. I'm like, I went back and took a break. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. Running in the sand yeah. is hard. It's exhausting. The sand is actually a yeah. good workout. Yeah. It's good. It's a good workout. My, my highlight was living at Moe's house for two months. <laughs> What's the worst? Like, What's the worst? Living at Puerto Rico. In Gordon's house for, two, <laughs> <laughs> for several months. Uh, Yo, we, we would just, after practice, get, go, to, go to La Hencia, get some steak. La Hacienda. La, La Hencia. <laughs> La Balenciaga. <laughs> you say a different one. It <laughs> changes every time. Yeah. La Shabalama, La Fabalabinda, La Flamingo. That's yeah, it. we get some steaks. We cook it up at Moe's, and then they clean it for us. Yeah. They do everything. We just go eat. That was, was the best, yeah. my I think, like, the highlight overall, the, the two months at Moe's was the best, obviously. But the very brief window where we were riding the motorbikes, <laughs> that was the, the peak of most. I remember, I like, I'd wake up. Nope, just, I don't want coffee and I want breakfast. I I'm just, just where is that fucking <laughs> motorbike? I started up. I'm like, I'll see you in a few hours. I got complaints like the next day immediately. There's some hooligans making noise. Doesn't come to practice. He's just yeah, riding the just, bike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, we had already, the team had split. So like we didn't even have a time to train. So I'm like, oh, what am I gonna, am I gonna what? fucking do? Wow. Yeah, we couldn't use uh, Combat 360 anymore. Yeah, we went there at nighttime. We went there at night. So yeah. I had the whole day. Wow, fucking yes. gonna go Damn, tear up the golf guys, course. Yeah. I wasn't training with you guys then. Wow. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was still yeah, on the team. No, boy. were you in? 
You were in Puerto Rico, yeah. I was there. Yeah, yeah. I was there. You guys were training the day like we professional going. athletes. And we would tell. Yeah, we were. We had our, our like session that, going. I had to come to, to shit my car. You had to uh, what? Ship my truck to back to the you U.S. You shat in your truck? No, ship it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was cool. I remember, like, I would walk Roma. You would walk Leo. I'm gonna be like, "What the fuck's going on, man?" Actually, wow. Leo wasn't there yet. Yeah, it was that crazy. Was just another time. <laughs> he was just walking like a ghost. <laughs> what were you doing? Yeah, there was a window where it was it was really odd and interesting. It was like so. Okay, so that was the answer to the guy's question. That was the highlight. Mo's the golf, the fucking motorbikes on the golf course, super highlight. But then there was like a a weird part where it was like, oh, are we, are they not our teammates anymore? Like what just happened? And <laughs> suddenly we didn't train at the gym during the day. We were like, hey, bro, can we train at night? Like very soon we found that we were like, oh, we're not welcome at all. Really, they didn't yeah. like you at all, bro. One Real time? quick, that's true. Yeah, at some point, we're, like, in a group chat, and uh, it, it was, like, kind of broken telephone. We were, like, one guy, like, Gordon would tell one, would tell Fernando, and Fernando would tell us, like, yeah, they don't want you here, bro. Yeah. You can't come here anymore. <laughs> but it's and, not, it wasn't their gym. Oh, they they decided we're so, not yeah, welcome. So at, oh, bit. oh, no, no, no. Gordon says this. He's, like, if they come, there's going to be a fight. Yeah. And we're, like, well, I don't think he wants that, yeah. but yeah. we won't go. <laughs> you know, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, he said that. I remember, um, I think when Nikki Ryan was fighting Dante. Um, Nikki Ryan. Yeah, we were all in Austin. Yeah, all you guys were in Austin. So, I was babysitting or dog sitting Leo. In, in Jersey, Puerto Rico? In Puerto Rico. In well, Puerto I must Rico. have been in Puerto Rico then. I don't know. I th- I I was there with Taza. Like, I, we would actually, like, fucking wrestle in the park for, like, 30 minutes or so. What? I didn't know really? that. He was very nice to me. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't know that. But, uh, I was, yeah, I was there for a few days. Uh, couldn't train with the fucking whatever the fuck. Uh, but one of the times I was walking Leo at night in your guys like like apartment complex, there was like these cats. Um, yes, there's and a they family would, of cats. That would they fight. would hunt Leo. What? They would hunt Leo. Leo's I'm, a prime slab of wagyu for that. Bro. Yeah, like, like Leo's no, little like, fat we're meatball. Get, we're gonna get There's the nice guy. marbling in there. You know, not a lot of exercise. All right. I was. Uh, that boy's a bit like a ribeye. <laughs> He's a walking ribeye. I was. <laughs> I I'm walking him. We turn the corner. Like I just get get out the door. Turn the corner. I turn around and there's this. Like cat following us, and I'm like, oh, it's like what? biting. Leo I'm like, like as soon as you start your walk, you open the door. No, I, I like, I get downstairs and I turn like <laughs> one, one corner. Like I turn the, the corner of a bush, and there, I turn around and there's like a fucking cat. And I'm like, uh, a, a cat, okay. Uh, I continue the walk around around the complex. About halfway through, the cat is still following us, and I'm like, it's like getting so close to Leo, and I'm like, Leo's not gonna be able to defend himself. I start like kicking at the cat like just to like shoot away and it would like it would the cat would move from like there's like obstacles and the cat would like literally like track the yeah it yeah. was it was hunting leo but like hiding in the bushes and shit yeah yeah and it thinks um, you can't see it it's like i am like <laughs> uh but uh yeah the closest it got was like i i literally had to like shoot away i i kicked at it. Kicked it i didn't i didn't touch it but i like kicked it away um and then the the uh, i make it back to the room leo is unscathed uh and then we go to sleep i wake up next morning uh and i go to let leo out again and we're on like the third floor of of the apartment yeah. complex i open up the door and the cat is is sitting there w- like watching the door it's like i know and where it's, you live it's not even like uh <laughs> it's not even like sitting like in it's like it's trying to be sneaky like that like, like right this there, is the like corner flexing. the corner of the staircase and the cat's like this and it's like been watching us watching the door wow, wow. yeah we got we got hunted pretty much every night that i walked to leo that there was a like, cat's yeah prowl cat was out that's hunting crazy us, yeah. do you guys you guys went to like the private beach so um, you know, like when you'd leave our complex, you'd walk down, you make a right, and then a left. You go through like a little pathway between. Yeah, yeah. Right, so leave the complex, buildings. make a right, go, go down the hill, then you make a right onto the street. Yep, yep. And left. So there's like a little private beach there, um, and you go through like yeah that that trail. It's just private because it's like 
Abandoned, it's, it's not right? between well, just, two yeah. broken buildings. Yeah, yeah. No it's not like a like private that. beach yeah. or whatever. It's just it's like, cool. yeah. secl- like there's so many it's beaches. Secluded. It's a fucking island. So like, yeah, it's yeah. secluded beach. Like, there's, beaches there's, there's a bunch yeah, of different yeah, beaches right that you can coast. choose is, from. Is this the yeah. one by the like abandoned like? Uh, there's like a big abandoned building. Yes. Yeah, I, I think building? so. Yeah, I don't it's know like if... a broken down with like yeah. blackish walls. And yeah, all I don't know. It's like a yeah. cove essentially. It's yeah. like a little yeah. cove. But um, so there was like a pack of dogs there once, and I would bring Roma like to the beach with me every like for the most part every time, and I fucking would usually just like let Roma out and then like walk to the walk to the water, and she might these join that fucking pack. well, dude, these fucking these fucking dogs like start like really eyeing her down and like fucking kind of getting close. And like, I was like worried that they're going to like try to fucking like attack Roma. Yeah. So I had a fucking knife with me. I literally said to me, I was about to fight these fucking dogs. I would have killed those dogs. I'm a dog. Like, they were, were they kind of like uh grayish pits? Pit I don't know. I think they were great. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've seen, I've seen uh, it's like, you see them everywhere. Like these, this fucking yeah. family of dogs, essentially these packs. Is Why yeah, they definitely so many stray dogs have enormous nipples? Oh, though like it's the it's the women the because they the moms they they're breed. Well, they're all, yeah, they're, they're all preg- they're, they're getting pregnant. pregnant, or like, like they have kids, shit. or they have puppies or whatever. Then fucking they're just like, they're got like spaghetti out of spaghetti, there. Spaghetti, yeah. yeah. There there was this one mama dog. There's this one mama dog living next to, next to a cliff in Puerto Rico. Yeah. And one time I saw her, she had like eight babies. I come back, she had like four. Then like one. I was like, fuck, that's how it goes, man. Oh, but like they what? They didn't make it. I would think so. They didn't make it. They're oh, all wow. uh, they should have still feeding. Yeah. yeah, or they get oh, lost. Man. You know. Like, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. So they were a lot of the dogs the were cliff. cool though. A lot of dogs were pretty chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like cool. I would, I would fucking pet some of those dogs. Yeah. No, my like, dog used to. When I had Leo, he is a snack with him. You know what I mean? They look oh, at him yeah, like he's not with a dog. Not when you have a dog, but like if you're by yourself or whatever. Like I feel like they're pretty friendly. Like I, I don't think they'd attack a human. I think they'd attack another dog for sure though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they see. They really see humans as like uh, I can get food from this person. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, yeah, like I'd be nice thing. to this person. Yeah. It was really kind of sad food, to see yeah. how many dogs there were so out on Puerto dogs. Rico. Yeah. So many stray dogs. Well, dude, honestly, there's some, there's there's stray dogs out here in Texas. I yeah, don't know if you guys, see but them. it's there's like few- it's like I feel like some of those dogs were probably born in the wild, and uh, that's different than be- being born in a house and like this lady getting making it to like six months and be like, ah, fuck this dog, you know. Like, I feel like that happens a lot here. People just drop off dogs. Yeah, I feel like it's like worse here. I feel like it's if the no, dogs, there's not, way more dogs. Well, no, no, no. I think there's more dogs in Puerto Rico, but I think they grow up in the wild or whatever. That's like they, it's difference. fine. Yeah, yeah versus it's like they learn how to grow in the wild. That's yeah. like their normal. Yeah, but they yeah. have, but they have like a family of dogs that they're fucking playing around with. It's like, yeah. all right. This this dog now grew up for six months. Now they're with like this downtown owner. Austin. Like what the fuck? Yeah, they get do kicked I down. Do they're like, damn, yeah. where's my fucking pack mate? Like my pack yeah. mate just left me. Yeah. yeah, dude, there was a super sad video of this guy dropping a husky off. He gets in his fucking truck, drives away, and the husky tries to chase down the fucking the fucking. He tries truck, to abandon. Man. The husky and it's like chasing him down. Dude, those dude, people it's so should be sad, man. Killed, man. It's so I sad. Oh, just man. put it in a if you can't like. Get, Ask, you, you can find shelter, a shelter, Brian. Right? Yeah, it post it on social media. Yeah, Somebody yeah, will you fucking take it. Pick it. Give up. it to a family yeah. member. My dog used fuck. to hunt squirrels and bring them back to us. Yeah, my like, I had two terriers that fucking break that. their neck and like drop it on the door and expect Here's a like, gift. Yeah, here's a gift for you. Ooh, we give him snacks. We eat. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, we eat good tonight. So good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. My dog's like, we're gonna eat to get tonight. <laughs> He's like, where the fuck did you put the squirrel, you yeah. idiot? <laughs> I kind of like that though. <laughs> Having a, a dog that can like be self sufficient because like yeah, I mean it's not if he if he can hunt it gives me hope. Yes. Hope for what? That I I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. Leo if you're in a, if you're in a situation, right? Zombies come. You probably a good dog can help you out. Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's an asset, yeah. not a liability. Oh, I am legend. You guys see them? Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah. killed the dog. Sad. Yeah. Sad, they yeah. killed that dog. Kill that dog. Can I that dog? Can I pet that dog? You know what's so funny is that um. So I forget what the gas prices were, but the gas prices like last year were higher than in in uh I am legend. Like, cause I am legend is like an apocalyptic. Like, oh, whatever, and you and see then, in a sign and, somewhere, it's like and you see the sign, the gas prices were high. fucking so high. They're higher now. And th- they were higher. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about now, but um, I definitely uh, last year. What year is that year. movie set in? Maybe twenty twenty three. You know, uh, I Robot twenty twenty. Yeah, good movie. I think it's a great movie. I think it's supposed to be set in like twenty twenty something, like not that far. AI is not not that far away. AI. Either. Would you guess your AI yet? No, I don't have an AI. Oh. You have one. You download like, an app. Well, just, I have like, I have Snapchat, and Snapchat gives you an AI. 
So you, you just, just like to it? chat to your AI, yeah. Is that who your friend? Is that why you don't yeah, hang I'm out with friends? I'm very lonely, yes. No, I, I, I needed, um, I actually needed uh, inspiration for my DVD that I was uh, making. <laughs> so you're so I was like, AI. hey, hey, dude. Hey, bro. What's going on? I, I never talked. I never talked to the Wait, yeah. did we answer his question? What? So what's your, the best and worst parts of Puerto Rico? I guess we answered it. There was like a weird part where we were on different teams briefly. And I think the best part for me were the beaches. The beaches. Like, I best really like going Mo's to the house, beach. living like I <laughs> was a gajillionaire. That was yeah. Sick. I mean, that's definitely super cool. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. I really like the fact of just going to the beach after training. Like that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Worst part. Worst part was, um, I just. I think worst part for me was the lack of English. Like really? Yeah. Well, I, thought, just, I thought it wasn't that bad. You just point the shit. No, it was just super annoying. Like poop. I mean, it, granted, my <laughs> Spanish did get better. Like just living in Puerto Rico, obviously, but it was like, I, I got by with English. I didn't really, I do. I did. Every time I would come back here, I'd be like, ah, oh, everyone so understands easier. me. And it's just yeah, so much yeah. easier. Yeah. I don't know, like, well, so like I had a car and I had to like get the car fixed right around. I'm like, I'm trying to talk to the guy about fucking alignment insurance, like tire alignment insurance. She's and like, like, what are you, a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why the Ain't fuck? no insurance down there. Well, yeah, there's not. Right, you know, so why you even get that? You in the jungle. Well, listen, so I'm, I'm, and it, granted, I'm talking to this guy in Spanish, right? And then I'm like, I need my truck tires aligned, whatever. And then. How do you say it in Spanish? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I'm just explaining this. And then he's like, uh, <laughs> he tells me, he's like, okay, it's going to be X amount. Um, do you want alignment insurance? And then I'm like, why? And then he starts explaining to me that, um, Is that he'll thing? align. No. Well, listen, he'll align my tires, but if they, if they misalign again within the next year, we do it for free. Okay. So I'm like, so if I fucking drive away after it gets aligned and it goes back a week later, I have to bring it back and pay the full amount. And he's like, yes. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to get the fucking alignment insurance then. Yeah. Cause it's like, it's all sketchy. Just, they can yeah, just yeah. fuck it up. They, they just yeah. fuck it up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, they just try to scam no you. regulations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, There's I'm an pros American. And cons they, to that. You could park anywhere. You're not going to get a fucking ticket. You could speak. No, you You're, will. I've got a ticket. Uh, you just don't you pay it. You remember when it bought that Jeep? Yo, for yeah. Yeah. I got scammed for a Jeep. You got yeah. scammed for a Jeep. But like, look, what's going to, what's going to happen if you didn't get that parking ticket? Did you? Did you ever, did you, well, yeah, I mean it's registered to fucking me. Maybe I'm know. maybe I'm too willy nilly. What were you um, saying? But yeah, you did a good job in Puerto Rico going around not taking the toll roads. Um, I did take toll roads and I had to pay it. You had to pay. How'd you have to pay it? Uh, cause my license plate for the longest time was attached to. Juan's wife's account. Oh yeah, she didn't want to get them a bunch of tickets. And well, shit. she would get it and have to pay it, so I oh. have to pay them back. You yeah. never got the tag, the little. You get it at the gas station. It's it is a tag. Like there was already a tag on it or oh. whatever. And then fucking, I tried like I, when I tried to get a new one, they were like, "This is already registered to someone," and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see, it was like see, see, see. super annoying. Um. Well, I don't know though. It was. Everyday life was fucking annoying. If you have to do shit, like you didn't have a car, right? Did you have a car in Puerto Rico? Me and Nikki just shipped uh, that one. The oh Subaru. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we didn't so, like, do shit. Yeah, like literally, I go, if it drove, I'm, I'm like, it's fine. This is fine. This yeah, is I mean, fucking like fine. I had, I had a the engine works. I had to go to like DMV or whatever, a Puerto Rican DMV, and that, that's always closed every fucking whenever. I did none of whatever. That. Yeah, and the thing is, is like since it's a Puerto Rican car. It's like all like the license plate and everything. It can be tracked. It can be yeah. followed. So that's why I had to pay the ticket. I had to. We pay were in It was it was attached to a, a dead person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we we're <laughs> fucking fine. Honestly. Wow. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I had no no like registration or license I, plate I, over there. Yeah, yeah you no just insurance. actually I guess that, I, actually no insurance was super cheap. Actually. There was a cop. Insurance was crazy out there. It's like, expensive. How much was no, it was like, like 10 fucking bucks ten bucks a month. Yeah. 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 It was oh, a yeah. Show. Oh, wow. Because they're probably yeah. not going to help you at exactly. all. Exactly. Well, that's how I knew it was. You, well, as soon as I found out that, I'm like, oh, no one gives a shit out here. It's like yeah. they just invented laws. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> fine. Man. Bro, honestly, it was so amazing out there because, like, I, I felt loved like that aspect. I, of it. I, I real that was probably the yes. best actually. Like, so the 
roads are so tiny, right? I have a big Ford F one fifty. I'm playing bumper cars oh, essentially. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> but like people it's hit so you normal. Drivers, you dude, dude, people shit. drive fast well, as hell there. Yeah. They don't stop they're like, yo, don't stop at the red lights here. Yeah, like, it's yeah, a yeah. stop moving. sign. Yeah. It's you just yeah. like slow it down. It's, it's a recommendation. You make sure you're not gonna <laughs> yeah. crash and you're good to go. Yeah, dude, like people would fucking hit my truck or whatever. I'm like, eh, it's whatever. Like I, it what just didn't matter. Yeah. It didn't matter to me. Like that's I definitely miss that. That aspect. your There's cars and cons. Their cars would get messed up on the road just driving because like you'd see these big work trucks driving and they they'd be full and they wouldn't have anything coming yeah, on top, the top of the rocks. Just, yeah, 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 there's yeah. dust rocks coming. Everybody's car yeah. was dented, scratched up, fucked up. Yeah, and there's yeah. like a truck on fire, just like yeah. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smoking. It's crazy too that like driving around Puerto Rico, it made it normal to see like you'd be on the highway and you look over. There's a horse on the highway too, and you can yeah, see yeah, yeah, only like, normal. <laughs> Yeah. Bro, you go to like a CVS, and there might be a guy bringing their horse to a CVS. Filling yeah. up with gas <laughs> in the bottle. <laughs> it's a mechanical horse. <laughs> Dude, do you guys remember the smell, though? There would be sometimes where yeah, like the like sewage garbage, yeah. would fucking overflow or something, yeah. and it would actually smell like shit. Real poop. Like actual human Literal shit. Literal human caca. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was definitely <laughs> disgusting. There was a point ah. where uh, you would drive in Dorado to to get out, and um, there's like a waste treatment facility, and anytime you drove by, it just smelled like shit. Yeah. And uh, there's a bar right <laughs> they next to it, and I'm it. like, who the fuck I know. would want to go to that bar? Yeah. It's like, oh, man, that Flies. was so nasty. Dude, the bars would be packed like Wednesday to Sunday over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Wednesday Wednesday to Sunday was drinking day. Everyone's there all year, like, all Wednesday day long. To Wednesday to Sunday. Music Sunday. blast. Yeah, Monday, That's Tuesday, it's closed though. Monday, the Tuesday, majority they're not, they're of the not week. working. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday to Sunday, yeah. It was like, it was a party every, most days there. Yeah, it was just chill. It was like- I at, taught the police- once a seminar, remember? I don't know if you guys remember. That. I heard about that. Yeah, I remember that. No, it was like a just charity, a volunteer charity thing. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Say yeah. one, right? Uh, no, it was supposed to be in. It was supposed to be in the police academy thing, and they're like, "No, COVID, we can't." It was still like mega oh, COVID God. era, so we just did like a at Dude, Combat I, 360. I, I just remembered thing, actually. Yeah, when we first cool. moved there, um, we had to wear masks. Still, there was, there was. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a mandatory lockdown at like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. A, cur yeah. a curfew, yeah, yeah. Curfew at like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. And Sundays was an all-day curfew. I don't know if you guys I don't remember that. But I was trained every day. I don't know. I just, well, there was people on the highway and shit, bro, too. Yeah, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah. We would, like... we would still train on Sundays. But um, at night for the curfew, uh, people – there were cops driving around to make sure that nobody was fucking uh, – you know, out. As if Jesus. the night would be safer. How how is that? Yeah, like, what signs? That? I don't understand. It was so Dude, weird. It was insane in Montreal. I just remembered the times I would go back to Montreal and visit during the height of COVID. If you were out past like something like that, like 6 p.m., whatever, something, uh, you get fined like up to like 2,500 Canadian dollars. You get fined something like that. Which is like seven quarters. Something like that. Yes, yeah, a lot of money. I really, I'm for sure butchering this. I don't even know if it's fucking true or not, but it was something like that. You get fined a crazy amount. Yeah. It was nuts. It was like, I, I don't want to really. Anyway, it was it was quite too uh, much. Too much. It was too much. Much. I too can't much. believe you gotta, like, we lived sense. through that. I can't believe that was like a real thing that happened in our life. It's an error. Where like, people were, this were, is were fine now. people okay. were actively like despising you if you decided to hang out with your friends. Like you are an yeah. irresponsible like fuck. I can't believe you. That's just nuts. People, Remember we would train at henzo's and you and nikki we stayed in jersey would be like nope I'm it's not dirty you. we're not going well, i thought i was gonna die i'm not lying there for, was a for about like for, for, for about three yeah, weeks COVID. Yeah, maybe yeah. three weeks i thought zombie that apocalypse. it was life was over i was like i don't know what what's going wow. on um no i i genuinely thought it was done i was like competition doesn't fucking matter what the hell am i gonna do and then um Nikki had his, he was living with his mom. He's like yeah. his mom doesn't want to get COVID because she's yeah, fucking, yeah, she has like asthmatic and smokes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so then me, Andrew, and Nikki just did our own sessions at at uh, Gary's. And we weren't allowed. <laughs> I was like, yeah, if we were, I'm training in the city, can I come? You're, you're like, like, no, no. <laughs> like fuck that. You it's just gonna be a circle, <laughs> yeah. dude. It was honestly so crazy. We would just play video games all day, train, go back and play it more video games. Made and it it, just it made it simpler. Like our goal already was just like train and then come back and then covid made it like you 
That's all you can do. That's fucking it. And you have to do it quietly and you don't film it. It made like, going to the grocery store so inconvenient yeah. because they would they would they only let outside. They make you wait oh, outside. They would only let us. They would oh. only let a certain amount of people inside the store to go shopping. I and it's like it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. The day that like they finally said, "Okay, fine," it was like glory. Like I would go in there, no mask, and be like, "I'm fucking vaccinated." Fuck yeah. you, bitches. <laughs> Getting and, groceries yeah. delivered delivered to you though is a baller move. It is. It's not, it's not even that much more well, expensive. I, I, oh, pretty... I cannot go into a grocery store. I, I'll go. I'll go sometimes. Nope. I like picking Are you allowed in? Is that why? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't say that. No. <laughs> you no, said that. I I despise lines. I will not go into a shopping Usually mall. Usually it's not that a, a, bad. I won't go to... I'll you, go into a CVS. Normal people there. Well, Nor- I can't go normies. when there's lines. If, if it's people, in yeah. and out, then it's I'm chilling. But it's like, if I'm waiting in a line for groceries... I don't want the groceries bad enough. I will get yeah. just get them delivered to your house. That's Amazon's so good. Yeah. Fucking you can time is money. Stuff. That's what I'm saying, man. Like I'm not spending. If you go to a mall back in the day, it's like minimum an hour. I do I'm, despise I'm not doing like that. walking I'll, around buying stuff. I but can't. like ah, if it's like a you, couple you, things, can you go, I'm, I'm all right. Can you go? Grocery I can't store. go with it with with my girl with with Mariella. I cannot do it. They they do. Well, that's make a part it of it. Longer. Longer. They're like, hey, let's spend time together, and you yeah. I'm just gonna go spend your money, and you're just gonna watch me. Yes, that's fun. She has spent her money, but it's fun. Oh, there you go. Oh, well. Yeah, not my money. No, I think that's, I, I, that's true. Like a grocery store is like a little outing, and like it's like a mutual. Like I do need food, so if we're gonna do something, <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> yeah, something yeah. I also want. Okay, you know. But yeah, I'd much rather just do it on my phone than fucking do something else with it. Yeah, day, you know? it's it's a long process. And to be honest, I'm not even that good at ordering food online. I like just Mar- get the Mar- same. Mar- That's the, Mar- the good Mar- thing. Order the food online. Gro- you go to a grocery store, you'll see shit. You're like, oh, I do need this. And then you have a, a better variety of shit in your fridge. I think. It's easier Mar- to Mar- get Mar- diabetic, though, when you do that. Because you're like, fuck, Oreos look real good. And no. they have frunions. Uh, frunions? They have frunions? <laughs> frunions. I've never heard of frunions, but frunions. Um, onion They're onion rings. freaking onions. <laughs> no, funions. You're the fr- on- they're freaking onions. <laughs> you got it. I know you got it. No, he didn't get it until you just said it. I got it. I got it. Not off the bat. Not off the bat. Okay. You got off the bat? <laughs> I'm done talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you question my <laughs> intelligence yes. for the fourth time? I am an intellectual. <laughs> How dare time. you question my intellectual? Intellect. <sighs> what do you guys what think? Else? Is that it? No, no, no. We got more. more. We got more in the chamber. We, Kate. Our guy asked. We gay? We ho ha ba ba ba. You gay? <laughs> we, no, we, we gay? No, you gay? No, you gay? <laughs> Our guy asked a question. What's your Top and bottom Puerto Rico. I think oh, like I, we I think we this. answered it three times. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah. we really hey, yo, Wiz Khalifa did you just <laughs> <laughs> Do I have like minor fucking <laughs> Alzheimer's <laughs> fucking I gotta eat more zinc. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the thing? Is it memory? I think we answered it three times. <laughs> I just want to make sure our our uh, oh, viewers <laughs> don't get like I sent them a question and they skimmed over. You know, sometimes we we get distracted with other. Uh, Shit, we answered essay form. That's oh. right. Top bottom. You did any conclusion. college? <laughs> Not enough, apparently. <laughs> yeah, C Jep. C Jep. Yeah, it's which like is an acronym. Is it? it is an acronym. Uh, is it ac- Central, Egy- <laughs> Central Egypt? <laughs> I'm Egyptian. Are you really? I'm Egyptian. Yeah, my grandmother. You're black. You're yeah. African. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. No, you're African. Egypt is in Africa. It is the top, the tippity top. He's Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so fucking E jacked because I carried those bricks on my back and it ain't whack. Oh, shit. Heart attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Make a stack. Okay, anyway, yeah, uh, my grandmother uh, on my mother's side, they, like, had this whole business in Cairo. They were, like, out there doing shit, I think, like, dentistry or something in, in, in Cairo. Yeah, the, the capital. I can't find any more. Uh, Whatever happened to those sardines? Oh, they were there. It's not even that bad of a challenge. I'm I just not, eat sardines no, all the time. I said that, I too. Yeah. Like, they're in the fridge. Oh, you just curious. Them. Oh, yeah, dude. Honestly, I was eating hungry. with some rice. Eating with some rice is pretty good. Yeah, you had them raw. Something. Small fish. They're not is raw. Better it's, 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 they're, uh, they're smoked. They're smoked. Or yeah, yeah. You put them. In, you eat the bones and stuff. Yeah, eat that shit. Eat all of it. I, I don't. They're, they're tiny you enough. You pick out them. the bones. No, they're so little. Dude, you, no, they're so could, tiny. You chew right through them. Salty you could do that. Anchovies. 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 No, no, no. It's like a Spanish thing. It's a. I think it's a cod fish. 
cod, but, the, but like we would eat it and it would have the bones in there. Yeah, it was like uh, this Spanish dish. I, I forget what it's called, but Fuck, might be bacalao or something yeah. something similar. But it's it's like onions and the super super salty fish, so salty that you have to like soak it in water a few separate times. Yeah, and salt a, out, a, and it's still it's super salty. Mm. And uh, not anchovies. No, no, no it's no, a bigger no. fish. Bigger fish. fish. I think it's a cod oh. actually. Yeah, okay. salty cod, cod. But yeah. Um, what well, was your question about that? No, I'm just dude. saying we would eat the bones in that shit. I mean, I'll spit it out if I felt it. No, the, the I wouldn't sardines mind. you can the chew like right sardines, through. Sardines, I I'll spit it out if I feel it, but I also just bite. You can chew yeah, right it. through it. They're yeah. like so fucking tiny. Do you guys eat so fish on the reg? On the regular? Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe yeah. once a week. Once just a week on a fish. I honestly I eat mainly red meat, which might not be good, but as do I. I eat mainly ground beef, but if we steak, eat it, we're pork. pieces of shit. I never said you're pieces of shit. You just I mean, at all. Your, much. Heart, my, your hearts you know, are pieces of shit. With probably. how much you, you guys were eating it, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I eat as a whole. I eat less food now. I honestly thought yeah. that if I was if I stopped eating like a bodybuilder, like a gram of protein Dude, per like pound, shrivel up. I was convinced that I was going to lose muscle, get smaller, and it's just not. If happening. you really go like vegan, I think that will happen. But you're not. You're yeah. st- you're still eating meat. It's just yeah. a more dis- a v- variety. Yeah. And variety I don't eat as life. much because I'm not building muscle necessarily. It's different for cardiovascular. Probably right? get full f- sooner. Like a lot of stick. Well, I don't know if that. Adds well, up. I get full from like, uh, like uh, this will fill me up, dude. Avocado, I can eat yeah. much more steak. I can eat a pound it's of more steak. Fiber, exactly. More fiber, more fiber. Right. It, it physically stretches yeah. your stomach. I can eat a pound of steak much easier than I can eat a pound of uh, avocado. Yeah, sure. pound Bef- of avocado before the cholesterol thing happened yeah. with his blood work, I had asked him. I was like, "Don't you think we should eat other things like fish and like ground turkey?" Or just like for a variety, because I I had heard uh, someone saying something about like, oh, like if you eat the same thing over and over again, your body gets used to these nutrients and you're gonna uh, get you deficient kind of, kind of something. plateau yeah. a little yeah. bit, mm-hmm. and also deficient in, in yeah. other things as well. So yeah. I was like, don't you think it would be good to like try other things, see how we feel? And he's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love red meat so much. It's honestly the it best. is my favorite. It, it is my favorite. Like, yeah, it is. I'll my have favorite. ground beef steak. And pork chops. I don't, I don't know if you guys eat pork, but I, I love, love pork it. chops. I haven't had it in like, a while. I've I just, I've, just I've like cycle, steak, just like a perfectly cooked steak like what, is my I had, favorite I had food. What, what did you? Would you cook it? You cook a lot? At yeah, home, all right? the time. Yeah, but air mainly, shit like, you air, but you air fry chicken usually no? Uh, yeah, steak I'll barbecue downstairs. And how often a week? Like how many? How many times Dude, a week are you eating red that? meat? Like every day. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I eat lately actually no. Like I'll go through cycles. Like lately it's been more chicken. But like dark meat, chicken. I don't think it's. it's ne- I think it's just not as good to me. No, it's no, it's not, I agree. No, no, I hate chicken. When I, I like hate it, I chicken, like it. I don't hate it. Like it's edible, but it, I would prefer to never eat it in my entire life ever again. <laughs> it's edible, but it makes me vomit. I and like. I love red meat, man. I don't know why. Yeah, I whenever I eat anything besides red meat, I'm like, I wish I was having red meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, also, like I also have this thing where, like, if I don't eat some kind of meat with my meal, I'm I feel full. like. I oh, didn't even eat. I'm not yeah. full. Yeah, like that's. Yeah. It's, it's not. I think it's a mental thing because you know. are definitely getting. No, a, what about protein? I feel like I need. There's protein, protein in in like a lot of not stuff. These pastas. Not these pasta. Not enough. Though. Like if you have a bowl of pasta, Maybe not I need, if there's no meatball, there's no chicken in there. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you're like, where's like, the substance? I'm not where's eating. The, this is yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It's just the, the extra stuff. Yeah. Where's the core? The real I stuff. Like I feel like carbs is bullshit. I'm not bullshit, but it's like protein is the most important. It's the foundation. Yeah, that's the most important macro. Building block. Building block. What are you guys ancestry? I'm Egyptian, Russian. What are you guys? Filipino, you're, Jamaican, you're Puerto Scottish, Rican. Spanish, Puerto Rican. Scottish. That's what they tell me, but I I need to get my 23 meat done. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, you know where your like uh, parents I on mean, each side. Families both from both sides are from Puerto Rico. All Puerto Rico. Yeah, but like that, wow. uh, that's right. a melting pot kind of right. A bunch of different. It's mostly like Latin American, Latin American, Mexican, Spanish, yeah. Spanish, Spanish yeah. from Spain. Yeah, I don't think it's really that big of a melting pot. Okay. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. I don't think so. Well, it's like a, no, it's, a, mean, it's yeah. a melting pot of like the Latin people, yeah. like Mexicans, South Americans. I don't Americans. think Mexicans really went to Puerto Rico. Though. It was hard to find tacos wrong. out there. Maybe like, I'm wrong. I don't think like, I've said so much wrong shit on this <laughs> thing. I just like <laughs> everything I say. I'm like, I'm in my head. I'm like, someone out there knows more about this, and they're gonna think I'm a fucking idiot. Everything I say, I'm like, I'm gonna no, get I, fact checked. I don't know, but I think like like Spain colonized that's why they speak spanish and yeah. it's mainly like spaniards like i don't think any, right. no one really else 
uh, maybe America, but it's like no one really. It's not a true. Pretty big spot. for a Spaniard. A lot of people on the island were fairly small, or fragile. Yeah, that you're is a fair. Weird, that yeah, is fair. how are you? What the fuck? Actually, yeah. yeah. How are you? Puerto you guys Rican? are not a pure. You guys are something else. That's what I'm saying we had we melting had something pot. import melting right? pot. Yeah, imported. <laughs> one so of the shipmates. What, fucking what was yeah. thing. Uh, uh, one of Dad's sisters saying something about us being Italian or something? Is that something about being adopted? <laughs> <laughs> his, both his parents are like short Puerto Ricans. Or like, you guys how, are wait, how tall is your no, dad? Your dad's not that tall. Dad, that's big. Six one. He's oh, big. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, how tall like are you? Six two. How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm like five five eleven. I'm telling you, you I didn't, I didn't get mommy's milk. milk. Oh, you what? Dude, you I up. didn't get milk from the. You didn't tip. get mommy's oh. milk. Did you get mommy's milk? From the TT? From the That's TT? what I'm saying. I was nutrient Are you sure? I am 100% sure. Were you but castrated you never, as a child? You never I don't know decided what this is. to That's ask why? <laughs> word huh? You never decided to ask why? Uh, I, I, I mean, I forget why. Oh, she was just like. You could still do it. Yeah, it's not the same, though. I needed those nutrients <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> no, no, no. I no, could. I know I, I could, I but I keep could. trying. And mom's like, oh, mom's you're like, too no, old. No, stop it. Like, <laughs> you just play that. No, but it's not the same, man. I'm fucking trying. I've been you're trying. I've been trying. You know, my mom. That's why I'm here now. <laughs> Jay's coming back to visit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, Jay, why are you going you back, go like, back home? You go home. I need to get bigger. You wear like a bib and like. Oh, my God. Uh, watches this. Don't do you better watch your mouth. Uh, this is what? too deep into the podcast. We say these things all the time. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are something else. I don't know what you are, but how old is too old to breastfeed? Like twenty. Of um, like uh, <laughs> maybe like uh, I don't know. Like I'd say I think I'd like, say about fucking... I'd say about 144 months. <laughs> <laughs> One of those yeah. parents. Yeah. Oh, uh, fucking hell. I don't know. Like four? I think as soon as they were. What? I, I knew know. I was going to. I was like, <laughs> what number is going to get the least absurd reaction? I guess I fucked up. Is that too old or too young? I, I thought that was know. too old. If, I think if you had. I think, I think as soon as they remember, I think it's done, though. Yeah. Too many, like, like, too like two. Two and under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> get those numbers mixed. You got to count the teeth. And then what happens? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, if you got too many teeth, it's probably... Well, how much is too many? I can't get those five. <laughs> Wait, so Wait, how much so, is too Yeah, many? what's the... Well, I'm just saying, if he's got too many <laughs> teeth, it's probably going to be too to just going to count. Me. But what is too many? Five? Well, there's not even like... like There's like fucking pumpers. Like they'll put... Yeah? They'll oh, yeah. Fucking suck the milk. So the teeth doesn't matter. So what's the at two two? Well, if the, te- if the teeth doesn't matter, the action of getting it, then you might as well just keep going. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, um, you know, yeah, mothers can continue okay, so, oh, producing can continue. milk f- like forever. With they, humans. Yep. They can as long wow. as you suck it out, yep, it keeps yep, going. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, oh, you just keep going. Yeah. Mm. Like, uh, but when you stop. It fucking it, like it dries, dries up, up essentially. I wonder if you could sell like if you can. <laughs> no, no, no. Sure. Listen, you could sell uh, titty milk. Titty milk. Imagine you're like a, you're like a, growth hormone. Imagine sure. you're this you're this smoking hot female, right? You have like a million subscribers on Instagram, and you're like, fuck, I really don't want to do an OnlyFans because I'm having a kid soon. But, so milk. I'll so I'll sell titty milk. That's this is genius. You're not I bet like a, a really popular OnlyFans. They oh my god. The, you pasteurize like, some titty milk. You have it with your morning cereal. Bro, you make bank. No, you know, coffee, uh, um, uh, bodybuilders buy it. Bodybuilders buy titty milk. It's, it, there's a lot of growth hormone in it or whatever. A really? It's a real thing. Dude, when I'm you pe- guys get married and you have kids, are you, get, no, are you I, guys going to do it? You guys going to do it? Honestly, dude, different. I think we should. <laughs> I think you should, sell, you should sell titty milk, dude. It's. It's fucking titty milk. I'm going to drink it. it you got like 10 it's, bitches all milk. There's a big <laughs> yeah, I, I started Dude, a farm. <laughs> Dude, we can become Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate for titty milk. <laughs> we have them hooked up in a barn. Where like, yeah. It's like pipe sweet. <laughs> Ah, they're producing this season, I, I, huh? I do want to try great commercials. That's, that's great. I do want to try yeah. titty milk once, though. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, I tried when it, but you're like, gonna, yeah, it's but true. like you don't remember it. Yeah, yeah, right? I do. You guys don't remember it, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, for sure. When you're, you're like, I, I your kids, your like, kids are like, like, sandy get out of the way. Sandy? I think I could be wrong. That's unappealing. I think so. I think it's disgusting. Sandy? I could be wrong. I think it is. I think it's like gritty or something. Why? Interesting. There's sand in there. It's got like a little bit of bacteria, maybe. Maybe it's a. Uh, they went to the beach, maybe. I don't know. So we've yet to have raw milk. 
Oh, but every time I go to Tenth Planet, Eddie Bravo or Eddie Bravo, um, uh, uh, Ben yeah, Eddie, Eddie, Ben Eddie, he's like. Oh no, fat gob milk. globules in milk. You had to drink the raw milk. I heard a lot of people get sick from raw milk. What? I mean, I really? think we're strong enough. For no, that I to think take you get sick milk. at first. Like you get a little, yeah. basically like a lactose intolerance reaction, and then you get used to it if you have the enzyme to get used to it. So he would be, you'll be. Would I be fucked? fucked? I'd be fucked. You'll get mega fucked. Yeah, if you're intolerant to it. Raw milk will I, I feel like up. I've heard the opposite where raw milk would be better for I heard that because raw milk has the lactase in it and it there can digest I, I it. see I'm wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I did, I did. <laughs> this is the problem. See, someone told me that once and they were just bullshitting. And I'm like, I will remember this and use it one day without <laughs> fact checking, without backing up. So I regurgitate this information, this bullshit information. I look like a fucking we need better sources. We do. Not just people. Yeah, we, we should definitely get a hist historian on here. Yeah, they'll know about raw milk. <laughs> <laughs> the history of it. Yeah. <laughs> it all started. I don't know. Why are you on your phone? Are you looking for something? Bro, yeah, I, I yeah, watched, yeah. Uh, I've i been watching um, Chimp Empire, Chimpanzee Empire. Chimp oh, Empire. I want to watch that. Yeah, on Netflix. it's on no, Netflix. Yeah. And the more I watch it, the more I realize how similar we are. Oh, they're cool. Yeah. We are quite similar, and it's crazy that there's not a huge, there's not like, like there's monkeys now and then there's humans, but there's nothing alive that was like, oh, like the, the difference used to be this, the missing link, that's the whole like, that's the whole frontier the question there, right? yeah. Like mystery. if there was a c catastrophic event, why did the monkeys live, but our ancestors maybe didn't? Well, that's that's you know the in between between uh, monkey monkeys and man, and yeah, like, because a cataclysmic, I think, because a, ca a cataclysmic event will wipe out. People who rely so much on like things that will get destroyed by that. Whereas like monkeys, they'll the forest isn't gonna fuck. Yeah, but where? So if we go back wild, to the right? what's it, hu human Maybe. hominid or whatever, like the in between like the Neanderthals or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you would think that they're they're hunters gatherers and they're using tools that they would have the most advantage in in probably surviving this cataclysmic event. So there's another so theory. That became us. We survived it, and there's yeah. there's another theory where it was like. Aliens. What, what I, I I go down this rabbit hole too. Like so, there's aliens that essentially took primates, right? Bred them with the with themselves. That's, that's think, my theory. I think it's called um. Not, you came to the live. same. You came to the same conclusion I, by, with your findings. Maybe the Listen, I, after I after with I heard research? about yeah with your research with my research after I heard about <laughs> he's <laughs> like you know what I came to the same conclusion <laughs> <No>. <laughs> after googling. <laughs> so I kind of I listened to the out. Andrew Tate podcast yeah. Andrew. and uh, I'm sorry, not Andrew Tate. Um, Huberman and no Andrew no. Schultz podcast oh. where he had this historian on that was talking yeah. where he had this historian historian on that was talking mm. about Egypt, right? Okay. And he was like, yeah, it's kind of the same thing you were saying, like, oh, it was hard. It must have been really hard for them, or they must have been much more developed and advanced to be able to complete the the temples, right? And I was like, all right, what if what if the aliens came down and bred the monkeys, and that's that's kind of the thing. That well, you know, in the Bible, they there is. They they do talk about that actually like where things came down like the Nephilim or whatever came huh. down and bred came with down. with uh, uh, came down and came in yeah, yeah. I don't know Free but then pie. there's also this other Free theory pie. that like so um you know Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden or whatever is actually a, an old story about how this alien civilization or aliens um like the Garden of Eden Eden was actually just uh, a laboratory, like a greenhouse lab, and that they they used to um, to grow humans or whatever, and then until humans were actually made, and then they they brought them back to. Because we we are like the only we're one of the. Like I, we, you guys know so many theories about random this conspiracy. Shit. It's conspiracy. Yeah. Well, humans, random. a lot of animals, like once they're born, they can they need help from the mom, but they can they can survive. You know what I mean? Like an elephant's born. Like, yeah, yeah it they'll would, figure it out quick. We need out. a lot of time. We need a lot of time. 18 years. So the first human needed that mommy's milk. Who's, who's doing yeah. that? You know what I mean? Wait, what, what's your question? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. First, the first <laughs> I want to answer this. <laughs> the first human that was born was probably, probably was born from a chimp mother. 
Yeah. This is what this is what I think, right? Alien, Chips alien rest, dad, rest alien dad was probably like, oh. look at these fucking monkeys. They got a pussy in the they back. Look, Let me they get look in there. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> my friends are I'd looking. Smash. I'd smash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the alien smashes smashes the chimp. They make a baby, and I think the first baby that was a, that like was a, a human, right? And maybe maybe throughout them banging the chimps, they found these different breeds of humans that were like, you know, the Neanderthals and whatnot. Until eventually they were like, all right, Mikey keeps banging this. Chimp and keeps making this cool human. Let's keep let's, let's keep with Mikey's DNA. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then that became us. That potentially, potentially. I am monkey. Ooh ooh ah. You know what's also crazy? The whole idea of like simulation theory. Ah. Right? What is that? Oh, like we're all in a simulation. Ah, it's too. You guys, I think that's too far fetched. We're far from this. Well, bunch of hoo ha. If you think about the past five years, or not five, like 50 years, we went from, like, the evolution of video games, like, from Pong, like, Pong to now VR in 50 years. Yes. But have you seen VR? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like real life. Not yet. It looks like a video game. Yeah, not yet. But imagine, we went from a dot on the screen as a video game to now that in 50 years. Imagine 10,000 years. (sighs) More expensive video games. It's going to become... Like, I bet there's going to be some, like, super high-tech VR thing, but I don't think Dude, that we're in good. this now. There, I mean, it's it's getting hot, pretty high level. I'm sure it's, it looks really just good. like reality, but we're not – I don't think we're in that now. Yeah. What you, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real VR – oh, my God. I love VR so much. It's fun. It's, it's very so immersive. Fun. I The one game I've been playing <clears> – <throat> It's like forty dollars, but it's really worth it. Forty dollars is expensive for a VR game. It is the biggest VR game I've ever played. It's called. Inter- what do you mean big? Like the world big, is big. Like open, pretty world? open world. Um, there's there's a, a story and there's just a lot of shit to do. Um, and there's monsters, whatever. It's post post apocalyptic. Um, but uh, it's so dense. And basically, you just like fucking find. You remember the loot room I showed you? I was like, hey, look at my. Oh, room. that's the game? That's the game, yeah. Oh. I had you like go back to your fucking room and you fucking have all this shit. I'm, I he love. not organize it for you? No, I do all the organizing. Dude, he has, I, his room is it's organized. Very organized. It, it I is, got all my you, guns in one why section. Why don't you pay your taxes? No, Instead no, of no, organizing no. your fucking <laughs> VR room. Dude, huh? it is much more important to me than paying taxes. <laughs> 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 he organized a room in virtual reality. Yes, yes. 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 But for me, while he has responsibilities so out of there's this like, fucking. There's like. There's like 15 grenades here. The guns are lined up. <laughs> the fucking the other boots are here or whatever. Like the shovels there's, here. He's there's just like, like wearing, wearing the, the thing in his room. He's like, there's <laughs> <laughs> like sneakers, like emails piling up. Like, <laughs> he's like, like <laughs> fuck that. Shit. <laughs> he's like sweeping the floor in the yeah. VR. <laughs> like, there's with guns. a tweezer, like <laughs> if you find a gun like out in the open world, you can bring it back. And you can clean it up. So you got like WD-40, you spray WD-40 on it. You grab a toothbrush that you found out in buttfuck, you clean it up. And then you got like a rod, you put some toilet paper on the end, you clean the inside of it. It's going to get crazy when you oh, well. when the technology is so good that you can't tell the difference. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's soon, man. What that's problem. soon. That's what you're saying is is now. We're in this now. We well, well, I'm not there. saying I'm not saying now, but it could be like, like the Matrix. We could be plugged into the Matrix where like our real bodies are just – in a fucking orb, and this is just virtual reality now, and it, we're indistinguishable. Like the whole idea with Matrix was that, like, you know, alien or not aliens, but um, the machine AI took over, and they realized they need humans to use as batteries. So then, we're growing in a cell, but now we're augmented into this reality, and like we can't tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. But that's what like the Matrix Matrix is. They're just giving us the shittier version of VR, so we can suffer now. Mm. To make us think this is VR. Yes, this is yes. the, the peak. Us... This is what we got. They are not to VR. This mm-hmm. is the best. Or maybe they're just breaking us in easy. They're like, I'll yeah, get used to like this. Then we'll level up. Slow, yeah. mm-hmm. I see, I see, I see. Guys, if you had the ability to get rocket shipped off to another society and you just learn about them to, to message back to Earth... But you can't come back to Earth. No, I'm not doing. No, what's I don't care about them. I care about what yeah, I'm doing right now. Yeah, I want to be here. I think the best way to live life is just to have try to Can I have one more of these. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> addicting, bro, this is addicting. They're like chips. I, I think good. the I think the best way to live life is to just focus on 
um, you know, setting up your future, but also enjoying every day. If you spend too much thinking yeah. about what happens when I die or what what's because like, yeah. when I'm walking my dog at night and I look up at the stars, I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> There's dots everywhere. There's shining lights going on. There's no, you know, dude, it's mind boggling. You look up. There's no electricity up there, no but there's shit. there's no electricity, but there's star power. It's Most of them are uh, dead already. Most of them had exploded, yeah. disappeared already. Bro, that's insane. That's yeah. the uh, who, light just travels. How do they know that? So that so well, those lights so are far away. Crazy. Yeah, because they're so that's far crazy. away. That, yeah. When well, you look at the when you look at that like Uri- Uriah's belt or whatever, when there's like a you know Uriah Orion Orion Orion's belt. What's, what's it called? Orion Orion's belt. O'Reilly's belt. Yeah. O'Reilly Orion Orion Orion's belt. Orion. Yeah. O'Reilly 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 Orion. Orion's belt right, right. Um. So are they technically moving? Right. They're not still. They're just moving. S- well, everything is moving. Everything well, everything's is expanding. Is, yeah. Apparently yeah. away. But Every, everything's expanding uh, away. Everything's expanding away, away from one from point. one another. But yeah. yeah, but the thing is, when they go in reverse, that's why they think it's like the Big Bang. The Big Bang. So you think like uh, when Mr. Columbus was going from there Mr. to here, Columbus. right? He's he's, he's, he's uh, crossing the treacherous ocean, probably following the yeah, stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars navigate. Yeah. You think the stars look slightly different than they look right now? Very, very, very slightly. Very, Dude, <laughs> but yes, yes, seriously, it's very true. Slightly, yeah. Very slightly, yeah. Very slightly, yeah. Some. They even, I think, I'm pretty sure they can track some stars that have been, like, major stars that have, like, dimmed and vanished. And wow. that's it. That's, like, where you saw, like, the end of that one fucking star out there out of, like, a hundred The vigilion, constellations were different, you know? though, um, back then than they were S- today. Slightly different. Like, like um, they, they changed well, like, uh, time, yeah. uh, our actual position... Comparative to like yeah, so the entire solar system is is moving as well. Like it's you know the sun is orbiting the center of the Milky Way. And everything. Yeah, so yeah, like, I know, I know, I know that for sure. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that for I'm sure. I'm a straight up bro. You want to know something I crazy? Know I'm a starologist. L- listen yeah. to this. Listen to this. So, um, 1800, uh, world map or whatever. Uh, in the 1800s, they didn't have Antarctica mapped out, right? Because we didn't know that Antarctica existed. However, the map from like 1500 had it pretty much accurately mapped out and antarctica was bigger back then or it was bigger on the map than it is today however it's antarctica melting. would be bigger back then so it's like more water water rising you more think? like me- more ice exactly exactly oh more ice more ice oh yeah. it would have more ice, so it's melting so we're all, but is that necessarily a bad thing because we went no, from no, we no, went no, from no. the the it's ice the, age the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Is that the point? <laughs> no, he's not done. He's not no, done. No. Yeah. Well, the there's, thing more, is, there's more. The thing, the thing is, is like, so somehow <laughs> that <laughs> he's like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> so, so somehow the uh, we lost that that knowledge that Antarctica existed. Fifteen hundred, we used previous maps and they were able to map that out. And then eighteen hundred world map just doesn't have it. It just Wh- uh, who's who's we though? Because like, like maybe they knew it over there, the but they didn't know it here. Well, like like. Uh, human world map like there were scholars that would travel across different countries to they'd to sail brainstorm. along the coast and like Damn, track. So it's just for how do you forget something like that well yeah the, i, I well, don't understand that, like, well, what do you mean that's it the whole thing it like huh? when you look at world maps at from like the 1500s they have antarctica mapped out oh, and, and then the 1800s, 1800s huh? it's, it's not? not mapped out okay so it, it didn't exist yeah, like that. The, it, Antarctica was not a real place. So it was. So they traveled to that location where they thought it, it should be, and they were like, "Fuck, it's underwater." Or maybe the guy was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna tell him that I'm not gonna make that fucking trip." And they were well, like, yeah, "I'm just gonna tell him it's not well, there." Well, think about it. Also, it's like, how did these guys? So first, these these guys with no electricity, they had to use fucking um, navigation or st- like uh, uh, they're sailing. They're sailing using the stars, the stars yeah. or whatever. But now they're gonna go to this icy fucking. Place they're probably exactly. just like yeah I'm not it's they're not like, there it's not there forget about it that I'm not doing that <laughs> it's gone <laughs> magic <laughs> yeah. all right no, just get forget. the fuck back to that the fucking yo forget about it. Antarctica bro go to the North Pole yeah. the North Pole North yeah. Pole super North close Pole. Said it's, it's in Canada it's it's I part think, of Canada I, I think it's further think, in its own continent I think it's part I think it's like part of the northern territories of mm. Canada is there any people from North Pole. No, I don't think so. Really, no people live there. Non-inhabitable right. for humans. Santa? Yeah, they stopped. Santa. Santa. Yeah, Santa. He's Mr. the Claus. only guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, the the, the whole Santa thing is we- the whole th- Santa thing is weird. That like, 
You Why just, don't they you allow just... Jews to believe in Santa, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All my friends, well, Christmas. You guys have saints in in uh? No, we have rabbis. <laughs> rabbis? That's a saint. <laughs> I guess. I guess it would be the equivalent. You how how much study? Like a priest. Maybe. How much studying of uh, your Judaism of Judaism no, have lot. you done? No, no, not a lot. You I had to do a bar mitzvah where I had to like sing. We got a bunch shit. of money. I had a yarmulke. Got some good money. Of kippah. Yeah. Wait, what's the difference between yeah. a yarmulke and a kippah? Same yeah. thing. But yarmulke is like a weird, stupid name in my opinion. Oh, it's stupid. So, called a kippah. It's also kind of weird. Kippah, your bald spot covered. Kippah. <laughs> <laughs> kippah, your. <laughs> I, I, it's your connection to God. <laughs> yeah. I listened to this one like comedy clip, and he was talking about the how Jews probably just came up with the yarmulke so they could cover their bald spot. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a great idea. So like, hey, let's just put it here. Huh? <laughs> God, told me to put like, it. God told me to put it. That's there. a good idea. Let's go. The one guy with the full head of hair is like, but that's fucking <laughs> retarded. Can't we just like wear a bracelet or it's something? It's like all no. <laughs> I can get out of here. Imagine all Jews just bald in the same area. A lot of them are. It's like, it, yeah. are you gonna go yeah. bald? I hope not. How's your dad's your, got hair, right? But not your dad. No. What about you? What about your your um mom's dad? Is your mom's dad bald? Yes. Then you're fucked. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's fucked. usually it's usually One day I'm getting this mullet in while it's yeah, still it's actually. Still but there. dude, you're go like this. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Is it is it receding? Bring it down. Bring it down. Like. No, he looks good. <laughs> I can't that's tell. fine. That's fine. Got the widow's peak. Yeah, widow's peak makes a big, tell. big difference. Yeah. What do you mean? Like a big difference, given it still is receding, but the widow's like your, your hairline's receding. I think so. Oh I'd wow. Say so you have bald balding in your family. I don't. Really probably, like, steroids makes your hair. hair yeah, like, yeah. Like, it must be nice. the all the years of steroid abuse. Yeah. I don't know. Just yeah. saying, it's happen? crazy how you stop training. Like you never got pimples before, and you stop training, and immediately yeah. you you get body acne. Yeah, I think it was from. I explained this to you guys, but I think it was from just like my body being used to. He's holding a knee. Sweating. Sweating. He's saying so this. I think it was my yeah. body being used to. <laughs> uh, being used to like, constantly sweating. Sweating or like my hormones just. Being on it's definitely like, good for your skin oh, to yeah. constantly sweat yeah, and shower. Just, I was constantly just. I bet like, you're showering. Same, same, same routine. Well, here's a bro science. What about this? What, what if? So first, definitely you're you're showering more, but you're also like it, it, you're sweating a yeah, lot, that, so it's kind of like cleaning, yeah. right? Yeah. But exfoliating. Also, technically, when you work out, your test does decrease a little bit. Ah, so now you're chilling. Now, but going now when up. you're chilling, you're you're just ramped up with tests and not using it. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Really? This no science to this. No oh, science. Also, also, may, like you went from training every single day. Now Most you're now you're recovering, so your testosterone is probably higher than it usually is. So that also uh, works <laughs> in, your, in your theory. <laughs> You just said that. I just said that. My yeah. bad. Sometimes I turn my ears off. Dude, yeah. He, he was just like, how do I say this thought? How do I say this thought? Meanwhile, maybe it's like, aha. He's like, oh, oh, what about this? Antarctica <laughs> maybe melted, and that's why. <laughs> now, what I meant to say is I agree with you. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. That could be, could be a that, thing. It was crazy because I. Are you like, nutting like crazy these days? Nutting? Yeah. I'd say it's about the same. It's not like, it, you know, more? Me when I don't train, I it's you like nut more. It's really yeah. When I lift weights, uh, like more juice. Yeah. Oh wow. More juice. More juice. More juice. More juice. juice. Mazel tov. When I lift weights consistently, cons- when I lift weights consistently, I get more juice as well. Yeah. When I don't do jujitsu, if I have like a weird injury and I just lift and chill, fuck. Oof. More. Oh wow. I wonder what the speed, what the more, speed, I'll, I, velocity too, like yeah. everything. I wonder, I wonder <laughs> if there was, <laughs> yeah. he's timing it. He's like, that was a fast <laughs> one. <laughs> you hit it with a with a speed I, gun. I have yeah. like, I have like a, <laughs> I have like a laser, You're a going laser trap. Yeah, there's a like give it a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, <laughs> I do this weird it's, thing it's, by it's, myself. <laughs> he shot it into the wall. He's like, you guys, I caught you going. Down <laughs> you guys come over. It's like there's loads ever. <laughs> like speed traps. You know those. You know in like the slow motion videos where they have like the black and white thing like that. You yeah. know. You know what I'm talking about. Black and white. You know what I'm talking about. I, I think I know what you're talking. What about. is the black and white? So you can see you it. Know. How fast? <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm calling live. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Stupid <laughs> fucking joke. Anyway, all right. 
That's yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a one guy that has the fastest come in the world, and, and he doesn't even know. Like Sixty five, and he he'll never know. <laughs> I, he's like closing doors with it, hits the door. Yeah. It's like there's recoil. Like, oh. oh my god! You know what I found out? Guess what the world won? The world record? World record. Who's got the for... biggest? Oh wait, what? No, no. Penis. <laughs> Go. Sorry. This chick banged the most dudes in one day. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the number? I'm gonna find out right That's now. That's someone's daughter. I don't know if 105. Oh, should I come? All right, all right. So oh, I don't like how it touches my ears. If you, you oh, I'll cut the sizing and grow, yeah, grow yeah, the top yeah. out. Wait, guys, can you guess this? I don't know. How many? Like, wait, wait, wait. What? What's the metric? Like a nut inside? I think just wiener sticks. Most wiener sexual stick? partners, yeah. Most sexual partners in one day. So just in, she's like one, two, three, four, yeah, how, 45, 75. Yeah, like is yeah. it like there's a line of them, or she has to seduce them first? Like what is it? No, just the world record. <laughs> just the world record. record. They, like, like, they you know, probably go. Uh, fuck me, I'm breaking a record. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be part of the record? <laughs> guess it, guess it. Uh, one hundred five. It was. Right. It was. It was, it was at an event called the annual World Gangbang Championship in Poland. Oh, is, is a thing? The oh AWGBC. A G <laughs> fucking Bukaki. Wow, wow. She our goes, average. Our, there's an average of forty five seconds with each man. Yeah, I wonder if she goes forty five seconds. Wait, that's, she that's probably goes, They not, lasted forty five seconds, or yeah. uh, it was just an average. Like I don't know. She probably goes mouth, pussy, asshole, gone. Is that like so, any kind of orifice penetration? No, it has no, to be so. vaginal. vaginal. Oh wow, forty-five. You might seconds. as well fill them all up. Forty-five, forty-five seconds. That's she was, all, that's she a long, she was competing time, right? against Stinky. two other women, uh, who who had the world record as well. <laughs> they just tap out, like because because it hurts, I guess. I guess, yeah. So, what is the number you guys think? You said one hundred and five. One hundred and five. Two two hundred. Two hundred. Okay, let's <clears throat> let's think here. Forty-five seconds. How many could you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, forty-five seconds is a long time, right? As long. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like that's at least forty-five seconds longer than I last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> all right, all right, at all right. least, at least guess, forty-five pumps. My guess is five hundred. <laughs> five hundred. Yeah. Okay. All of you guys are wrong. Nine hundred nineteen. I was In the closest. Day? I was. A, How yeah. many hours wow. is she getting fucked for? Uh, that's like a whole day event, probably. Yeah. Damn, I wonder if she what does she change position or she just sits like to, toes to the mat like just, just strapped perfectly. To a fucking wooden Imagine board. if they have to jump into it. They're like, all right, one. They're, oh, they're on the diving board. They're oh. diving into it. I mean, yeah, I would be able to dive into that after that many. Good, minutes. good aim. That's a lot of STDs, probably. Yeah, I think if they're doing that at like a like an event like that, they're probably like all tested. I, I would hope so. Tested they or they, or they, or they she lubes up with like a, a, a hand Purell. sanitizer. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Oh, that would burn. Ugh. Both parties. You could take pain if you're doing it. Jesus. Yeah, but 45 Christ. seconds. Purell, 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 yeah. Purell. Yeah. This is You'd be real girl. clean. Oh, let me yeah. see. Let me she see. She looks like she got space for it. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. She is proud of it, huh? 919. Damn. That's someone's daughter. <laughs> looks, like, looks like she gained a pound with each, mar- each man. Her, I wonder who her child is going to be, huh? Lisa Sparks. Is she like a porn star or something? Or uh, she just Lisa fucking... Sparks sounds like a porn star name, but... Yeah. I don't know. Wow. Well, I feel Fidel bad. Fidel Castro children. apparently banged thirty-five thousand women. Who sent us a message today? Wasn't it some Spanks? Some Sparks? Holly Spanks. Oh, Holly Spanks. That's close. I don't know. That's close. Yeah. Sparks. Pretty. How's slow. your striking going? Going well, man. I strike pretty much every day. Not today, though. Do you feel like you're losing brain cells? No, I think we sp- we we spar pretty intelligently. I don't spar that hard I too know, often. No. Oh no, I don't do so. Yeah. No, no, I don't. I mean. Granted, every little bump, I guess, will kill some brain cells. How, how how many times are you are you taking a bump? Like in, in we'll one day, bumps. I've never had like a headache from from sparring. That's like the that that you remember of. Yeah, not that I remember. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, well, sparring yeah. back at New Wave, I would have mild headaches for sure. Oh really? Like uh, with yeah. Gary? Yeah, you guys go hard as fuck. I yeah, see yeah. I didn't realize those. Uh, I didn't realize how hard we were really going until I saw other people that is sparring. Not sustainable. Because like I remember, like I would be driving and be like, "Do I have a headache?" Like, I can't really tell. And then I remembered I was sitting on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't have a headache. I guess I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not driving. <laughs> I guess I'm parked. <laughs> Whose house is this? <laughs> yeah, no, um, I would have mild headaches for sure, and um, I haven't had a headache this time, this time. Fuck you guys, bro. I remember GSP was telling us about uh, the cars, like in his living room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? 
Uh, fuck yeah, GSP. Like after the uh, Hendrix fight, um, he did like a, you know he retired for a little bit, and he would tell us stories about how he would be driving to somewhere like you know like a you know your drive to the gym. You like you know it off by heart so well. You think about other shit. You go automatically. So he would do this and forget where he's driving and end up in random places. Like he would end up, he'd zone out while driving and end up like at fucking TriStar when he's supposed to go s to some other place. Oh, like, well, he know? wouldn't, he would forget or he'd zone out. Cause I've definitely done that before. But you, might be, you might be in the same category. No, but you've, you guys never done that? Like, I, I've done you're, a version You're of that, driving yeah. like, no, no. like, you're just on autopilot, like fucking, he'd oh, shit, like, I should have made a right driving here. like far. And oh. he'd be like, wow, I'm like 30 minutes away from my house right now. And I was like in the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it's like scary, happen. man. You get fucked up. That's your brain. Nuts. Yeah. Imagine you, your, your brain is you. Like if yeah. that stops working, you don't even know. Yeah. You just like, you're there just fucked up and you don't even know. You're just yeah. like, well, I think um, disconnected from reality. Wow. That's scary. That, that's, man. that's definitely really your brain. So people say like, you know, your soul is you whatever. I really think like if you take someone that's you you get to give them cte or whatever they're a different person now so it's like your brain is definitely you but imagine we get to a place sorry to keep going back to this subject but like we aliens we, we evolve because oh, like shit. we can evolve the out monkeys. of our body the think about this. Think, think about this the pyramids think about this like how do they get guys please <laughs> Think about it. Sorry, you've had no time to talk this whole podcast. We, we, we evolve. <laughs> we evolve out of our bodies into essentially robots. Like our brains go into a thing. Because like imagine like we have uh, uh, we have situations where we can take like rat brain cells and put them like on snitches. What? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> got it. I didn't even understand what you said. You know what so, I mean. Yes, yes. Rats. R rats. He's a rat. Snitches. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, yes. So, Fucking come so on. take like you take rat, rat brain cells and you put them on a little robot. And now that little robot can drive around. Imagine we get to a situation mm -hmm. where we can evolve our because our brains are ourselves, but our our bodies are weak. Like maybe my body. You're weak. Like, yeah, speak for yourself. Like, we can we can move into bodies that lift fucking 10,000 pounds or whatever. Would like, you we guys want of to our... live forever? Forever. Young. I, there's going to be a one one point where, where you're, you're, like, you're the last of the last. Like you're that. like, fuck, this shit is going bad. I don't bad. think we can Someone's... be downloaded. I don't think we can be downloaded. What if? Well, that, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Download no, 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 to no. the rats. It's still, well, downloaded is different. <laughs> I, I think no we snitch. literally take our brains because our brains are just attached to our bodies, right? Like our spinal cord, and that's what's okay. connecting to I don't think it's. I don't think it's the brain that, that does it all. I think it is. What, okay. What if the brain in combination with the beating heart makes the spirit what is what if it's okay. bra brain solo is nothing heart solo nothing but in combination that that so that, that actually is true so your your heart does actually apparently have memory like it does there's like forty thousand cells or whatever that build a like a neural connection to each other that's separate from your brain actually <laughs> another little, you guys, like know, a little brain, you guys know the, the like influencer uh power lifter uh ct fletcher yeah. Well, so he had some yeah. heart issues, and he's got CTE Fletcher. He got like a he got like a, a Asian. Maker? He got an Asian woman's heart. He had a heart replacement. He started right? crying all the time. No, no. Listen, okay. he had a heart. He had an Asian woman's heart, and what? he said he said he he said he would get memories of like of math. He would listen. He would get memories of like like past life, and he would wake up, and he would have like a. I want to say Asian accent, but that's false. But um, yeah, he would have past memories of like her life. Boy? What? Yeah. yeah. But imagine waking up like. He said this. He said this. He he said this that he would have like feelings He's and done met. a lot of drugs. Oh, did he? It's but I mean, it, if if it's true that your heart holds memory, it does. And it you does. get a right, you I get know. a replacement, and you get a replacement, and that replacement was from an Asian lady. You might have some of that life in you. Could be. You know, your eyes start off as part of your brain in the embryo. Oh yes, yeah, yes, it is yes. Part of brain, the, yeah. the, we are. These are just jelly They're shoots. Little, yes. They're jelly shoots, and our brain from our brain. The optic nerve is just like yeah, little, yeah. That's antenna. fucking crazy. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. So if you get if you get an iPod, they're poking your poking your brain. Poking your brain. Yeah. 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 That's John, John that's Jones cool. brain poker. Oh, brain Dude, poker. that's fucking. That's it's that's cool insane. to think of. Well, I, think, I, think I feel like we're just nervous systems with this like spacesuit of a of a body. Well, that's the whole know? thing. It's like like so your brains like your bodies. Just meant to keep your brain alive. Exactly, and That's your it. your brain just connects at different points of your like spinal column. Yeah. Exactly, and now we can do this. So it's like if we can just take our our <laughs> if we just take a robot, we make the same connections. We can make a better body. Well, 
I don't know about this I, one. This one's about us. How do you feel about us being tethered to this planet? Like, do you think if we find a, another like planet Mars? that's... Listen, do you think if we find another planet that's, like, like similar to Earth, um, that we could we could adapt there? Because think about how many, like, different, different like, diseases and stuff are here. I feel like something substantially... There could be a uh, lot of other ones out there. Well, that would mean there there's different life out there. I think different there's life. for sure life out there. What do you guys yeah. think? Well, I think it's crazy. No, no, we that haven't found life on Mars yet. But that's in like our own DNA, backyard. like that's DNA. Not, that's, that's the likelihood of that's crazy. Like out well, there well, in the, the thing entirety is, of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. No, I, I definitely think there is life. But imagine like the whole thing is that like, are we? Can we go to another planet? The next planet that we'd have to go to first is Mars. And there's yeah. no life there. So, like, theoretically... Well, we can find another Earth. There's no real... They found other habitable planets. Yeah, we just like can't get there. The right... We can't get there yet. Yeah, too, what, too far? Too far right now, yeah. Too far. We can see light. We can see light. We found, like, hundreds of them. Yeah. Hundreds, yeah. yeah. There could they be They have, like, bacteria. trees and shit like that? What has no, no, no. Water that, that and oceans. They found well, if they found trees, that's a yeah, that's major life. discovery. Well, they haven't found life on... Uh, you can't see trees. Yeah. 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 You can't see trees, but you can see, like, well, you this planet has water. Well, you there's enough vegetation, you can see it from Well, what's... We don't know if it's vegetation. I actually don't know if that's true. What's life, though? Life is... Life is DNA. So H... So H2O has no DNA. No. Wait, what? Is, sure. What? 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 H2O water. 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 No. It's, no. It has no it's, water. It's no carbon in water. So sterile without everything yeah. is carbon based. Everything. Even even life, things are all life. We know. As all far life. as we know, there could be silicone based so, aliens. So water it. Huh? <laughs> water is life based if no, it's carbon. No, 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 no. There's no it, it, no carbon in water. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's H2O is hydrogen, uh, and two hydrogens, one oxygen. H2O. Yeah. That's uh, H2O. H2O. There's no carbon, but like. For life, all life needs carbon. It, we're, we're carbon based fucking life forms. Mm. I don't need anything. Yes, you right. do. Yeah, but no, the I thing is, so <laughs> theoretically, theoretically, um, so carbon, the reason like carbon is great for life or whatever is like, um, it, it apparently it's like easy for, for other molecules to attach to it, whatever, whatever. But silicone offers the same kind of structure. So theoretically, well, it could be silicone based there life could be out the, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. silicone based life. But yeah. now, um, I forget where we're going. Can we? Oh, I think humans are so good at adapting. I think we could actually live uh, on Mars. How would? I wonder how a silicon-based life form would look. That would well, be so. I don't be know. So interested. Well, it to could see. look like anything. Think well, about it. Like it would almost look like plasticky, maybe. No, right? we like, no, 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 we, we don't know. We don't. Well, it well, could. What, it, carbon what is based car, like jellyfish? Carbon based. That's that's clear. Whatever. What, what yeah, it, that's in, when you, it, when you burn something and it releases carbon, carbon yeah. right? When you ca can you catch carbon? Like it's the, yeah, the, it's, the black it's that soap? black shit. That's okay, carbon. so we're, we have that in, in that kind of chemical inside of us. Yeah. So the silicone uh, has you can you burn silicone? Can you catch that as well? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I'm sure you could combust I'm sure you it can at do a everything. certain temperature. Yeah. But I what is saw the... that Porsche. I believe Porsche is making a water fueled. Uh, something like that, yeah. yes. They're Hydrogen making, powered. We yes. had this already. Yes. Oh, you we had this, this already. No, 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 not on the podcast. We had this. We've already. had an engine that could yeah. run on water. But if it explodes, it's uh, it, an extraordinarily destructive bomb. Uh, well, same right? thing. Same thing with with they separate engines. The ion. But well, no, it, it's a hydrogen bomb. A hydrogen bomb. Oh, yeah, it'll take I out, like, heard. A city. I heard if that. I, we I heard that we had the. the I, I could be wrong. Some version of that. I think there's like some kind of like. The Very reason it was halted, thing. it's extremely dangerous. Let's say a two, a, like, I don't know, a fucking hydrogen engine crashes and it fails and explodes. Maybe there's fail safes right now at this point to make it safer, but they, I think they do something similar to a hydrogen bomb. Like they separate the something. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to fucking mutilate this. Hydrogen <laughs> engine or is it, is it a water injury? H2O. It's, wa it's water, but it's hydrogen. It's the main fuel source. So mm. it's, it's water. You know, it's, it runs on gas. Stanley Myers. Gases. Like hydrogen is a gas. Hydrogen could be a gas. He could apparently gas. came up with his water-powered car and got killed. This is different. What Porsche like the CIA put a hit on on him? Like they think like the conspiracy is that like Ford companies like these yeah. huge companies were like fuck you Damn. like the oil because whole country runs on oil a big part Damn. of that. Is, yeah. Hey yo, if Jack Links yeah, come at me, if Jack Links come at me, you know what's we up? Know, we, we know we running them down. Yeah. Um. No, P Porsche is taking um. Uh, what do cars emit? Uh, what is carbon. it? Uh, carbon. Carb yeah, carbon monoxide. So, so they take that. Uh, Porsche is able to take that, and uh, they found a way to convert it back to uh, creating fuel. So like a, a, a some some scientific shift. It's like a circular, it's like a circular thing, yeah. way of doing it. So they're able to um, close the loop. Yeah, close the loop. Well, so they're um, reusing the old old carbon. 
um, and creating new gas with it. So uh, it just runs on a on normal engine. Uh, the only thing is they have to find out how to make it sustainable because it's really expensive right now. Hmm. You know flight deck? No, it's too late now. Sorry, bud. Just you need to rest it anyway. You guys. Yeah. It's yeah, for your yeah. brain. I'll spar tomorrow anyway. Um, nine, yeah, nine eleven was successfully fueled with this new synthetic fuel created out of thin air and water. You know, everything that burns releases heat and water. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Everything that burns releases heat and water. Yeah. Then how? Water? No. Yep. Water vapor. Yep. No. Yes. How? Oh yeah. So it's sizzling. Oh, we just we're just <laughs> sizzling. You know what? I agree. <laughs> it sizzles. If it sizzles, it has water. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, it makes it sense. Fire, ki- fire kills the moisture, so what everything. About the sun, the sun. I probably the, you know the sun's sun a fire. Is, sun is white. Sun is not yellow. Sun is white. Why? So why do we see it as yellow? Because it passes through our atmosphere, and then the blue is scattered off, and it hits us with a yellow. Mm. But then the thing is, is as it so as from it suns- space, it looks different. It looks white. It's white light, white, white, yeah. But then when when it when it angles, when it angles, you know, all more more uh, light is scattered off the atmosphere, and that's why we see it as like an orangey, reddish, yellowish. How do we get rainbows? You know, uh, refraction uh, prism. Yes. So white off, light off water vapor from the yes. sun. Yeah. Yeah. No, so well, water vapor well, from here and the sunlight well, the sun there, yeah. and it gets refracted into that fucking Pink Floyd shit. You see a rainbow. You know all rainbows are circles, but you yes, only see yes, one on arc. See. Yeah. Oh, really? Have yeah. you ever seen? Um. You, it, so, so in in high school, usually they'll take like white light. They put it through a prism. You ever and you ever do that? It turns like to physics. a rainbow. I never did this. Nah, we got yeah. we, we're, our school's budget. Oh, public school system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't know about no photons. They could, they could yeah. So the, so uh, the prism. The prism uh, has expensive. I think pyramids. Einstein did it. I could also be butchering that. I think it was Einstein. Einstein. You know he was Jewish. Einstein. Really? Maybe it was Newton. Newton. No, Newton. Gravity. No, no, it must have been fucking Einstein. I bet so, someone did it way before and got no credit for it. I bet some guy out there like took a piece of glass, broke it, and went like, oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and like no one gives a shit. <laughs> and he like did all this shit and no credit. No credit. Nothing. Gone to history. And I'm saying this, and like his soul is out there wandering. He's <laughs> and no one will know. And a oh, fucking Einstein, Newton, these are the big boys coming think, in, fucking think, getting credit. I, I forget. I think. Yeah, um, <laughs> so probably, he came, yeah, he's like, Ooh. so oh. <laughs> you know, you know, there's uh, obviously there's visible light, but then there's like uh, uh, other electromagnetic radiation invisible. that we can't see. Infrared. Yeah, that's invisible. Yeah, like infrared, X-ray, ultraviolet. microwave, actually X-ray, microwaves, radio waves, whatever, ultraviolet. Yeah. So. Um, I think Einstein, so we shot the fucking, he shot the white light through the prism, right? That turns into the rainbow. Then he decided to uh, take the temperature of each individual. Um, oh, and there was a higher temperature in the invisible area. And he's well, like, he realized the that the temperatures were also different outside of the control group that outside of that prism, there was also a raised temperature. So that's how he figured out that there's a... Um, there was this infrared. invisible light uh, that we couldn't see. So basically all the Wait, heat- so the, the pyramid refracted like the infrared light, which was hotter than well, the others? Well, all the light, it like when you shoot white light, it's like all this light. Yeah, it's it, all it, the light spectrum, right? Exactly. Yeah, yes. Yeah, in a sense, yes, yes. From the sun. That's white well, light. Well, from light. Well, white light, that's also the sun, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, go on. Yeah. Um. So that way, that's how we found out. That, that, that's how we found out Um. about uh, like- that there was an, and he, I don't know if he distinguished the different invisible uh, electromagnetic radiations, like waves, but that's how he did find out that there is something that we can't see on going both on. ends. On both ends, and we, we can't, can't see the see. full spectrum. Of. Yes, we cannot see, uh, and we don't even feel UV radiation. We only feel, I think, infrared radiation. We feel it as heat. Yes, yes, that's that's heat. I think UV. That's definitely infrared. No, infrared definitely is definitely the that. heat, yeah. but I don't think we feel anything else like microwaves. I don't think we feel X rays. I, radio waves that we don't feel. feel radio waves go through tumors. us right now, I think. Yeah. I think radio waves are going through us right now. And we can't feel it. I think that's unhealthy? It causes nah. cancer? Nah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Radiation? Well, the thing is, ra- like the no, sun gives radio. us radio waves. The sun, like there's um, radio waves everywhere. Well, the sun causes cancer. Yes, in enough, in right. High enough. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. Yes. 
Is this a three hour podcast? Yep. Dude, yeah, for we sure. Were fucking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim's like, I gotta go back to my fucking wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys are talking about fucking rainbows and shit. <laughs> He's like, this is what I'm here <laughs> for. Talking about <laughs> rainbows. Motherfucking right, rainbow. We done so. For those yeah, listeners and viewers who made it to the very end, I applaud <laughs> yeah. you. Thank you for listening and probably losing brain cells as Damien does when he spars. Wow. Uh yeah, yeah you've seriously. been very simplified on this one. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, three-hour podcast. If you guys stuck in, wow, we appreciate you as fans. Yeah, appreciate Thank you, you very much.